you 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 rat bastard you fool <laughs> you were still <laughs> muted you were still muted when we transitioned in ah uh, he said the word cock loudly oh, and he was hoping oh, oh oh hope upon hope that you guys would hear it but no he he sat sadly i was not quick enough <laughs> on the draw Welcome, everybody, to the first and hope hopefully of many episodes of Under the Table, which is a new talk show that I've been working on for a little while. The whole concept is I'm inviting on some of the Internet's most interesting people to have a drink with me to chat about their work, their worries, their ambitions, their what excites them, what worries them, and hopefully for us to have a little bit of fun as well. I know Sho and I have been talking about answering some questions from you guys and hopefully uh, playing a few drinking games later on, although we haven't really talked much about it. I imagine it's the first episode. There's going to be scuff. We're going to wing a lot of things. We're going to come up with things on the fly. Not super structured. We're just here to have a talk and have a drink. So first of all, my guest today is my good friend and my... Should be my arch nemesis, but he seems to be very um, unable to. <laughs> he, 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 he seems to be. He, he seems to be struggling to struggling to, oh. to, to, to come at me a lot of the time. So, uh, uh, well, look, everybody, look, please look. welcome my good friend, Shoto. Hi. Good morning. Mm -hmm. That's for everyone else. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? I'll give you one later. I'll give you one later. Yeah, yeah. All right. He's gonna give me one later. He's gonna give me one later. Chat. I'll give you some kisses. Mm -hmm. I'll give you. I'll give you. No, look. Oh my God! No, dude, the vodka hurts. Show is already. So, so yes, that was the first question I wanted to ask you. So, and you've already told me, but I will ask. I will ask it for the sake of the listeners. So, what, my friend, are you going to be drinking today? Oh, let me tell you. Oh God, I uh, <laughs> I took another sip because I was like, you know what? Sure, I can afford another uh, sw swig, but it hurts. It's called lemon flavored vodka. I have that, a whole bottle of that. I also have some uh, Brut Rose California Champagne oh, Bubbly. Oh my, very and nice. I have some uh, uh, yogurt soju to also like uh, <sighs> Do have as a snack. I want to know something. I tried um, soju and yakult for the first time the other day, and it's really, it's really good. It's so fucking good, dude. Let's go. I don't you think I used the it. right lemonade for it, though. I used, I did, couldn't find any Sprite, and so I had Seven Up, which I think is a little bit sweeter than Sprite. Um, so it was very sweet, and it just kind of tasted like lemonade. Mm. But then I added, a, I experimented with it. I added a little more soju, and it was like, ooh, it's really good. It, it sounded like a cursed combination. Like I thought it was a joke, like pilk at first. Mm. But no, like um, it's it's really good actually. It's really you thought it was a joke for I real? thought it was like, a pilk? joke. Dude, what the it. hell? Yeah. It's so delicious. It's like it's like a little creamy, right? A little sweet, and I mean soju in itself is also a little bit sweet, but still, it's uh, it's really good. I'm glad you yeah. liked it. No, I really, I, I I really did. It was like it was a super different taste, and um, I always, I mean, you guys know how much I love pilk. I'm always going for like different combinations and shit like that. You know something? I this is the first time I'm ever drinking champagne. Uh, on stream like this or like really? ever this is oh, my first time drinking champagne yeah i've never I, had it before okay i still think that like when it comes to wine not much for red but white wine is mwah, cream of the crop i love white wine and for you like i think champagne takes the cake especially a brute like uh, what is it that wrestler says a little bit of the bubbly it just doesn't get much better than that i really <laughs> hope you enjoy it I, I like it's really bubbly once it like gets it gets in my mouth it's like starts foaming up and like dissolves it's weird <laughs> it's really weird I never like experienced a beverage like that like it just like it's so bubbly right mm. it's so bubbly like super carbonated also have you opened it already or will you be yeah opening I have it on... fuck we could we could have had like the you know like the bang oh the yeah, yeah, I already opened it because I wanted to try it yesterday it was like hmm, I wonder what it tastes like and I I put it in my mouth and it's like yep this is uh. Is, I've never had it experienced anything like this before. Yeah, I it's um, good though. It's last time I had a drunk stream, I got in a lot of trouble. <laughs> but before that, when I opened the champ when I opened the champagne, I was like trying really hard to open it without sending it everywhere. I was like, okay, I was just easing it off with my hand, just like ugh, 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 and then it just boom and it flew across the room. But of course, after that stream, I passed out because I was so drunk. And so you I passed, just forgot oh. I forgot the cork was over there and recently I was cleaning up my office and I was like, oh, and I found it again. 
<laughs> how like how many drinks does it take for you to get uh I don't know it, inebriated it as fuck? It varies. So um <laughs> off like, my last my last one, I um my last drunk stream I had two bottles of wine. I had two bottles of champagne. <laughs> and that was enough to have me to make me pass out and then I woke up with a dreadful hangover. Um, I think I've get... never experienced a hangover. No, really? Felt... Yeah, How? never. I, I think I've, uh, I think I've like, isn't it like you drink enough water to avoid it or something? Or like, I'm not sure. I guess how yeah, it you works. You drink water and you make sure you've eaten enough food and shit like that. I'm not mm. a fucking lightweight chat. Listen, listen, you're going to see that. You're going to see that today. I'm so myself. I bought, um, I bought an entire box of about 12 <laughs> bottles of Corona and I'm going to be <clears throat> drinking as many of them as I can, which is the equivalent of about like five or six pints, which is, you know, a lot more than I, I mean, normally I feel like five pints is what I have that gets me like under the table wink wink um so you know. <laughs> why did you decide to name it under the table by the way i was struggling to think of a name because to be honest my first idea was tipsy talk but tipsy talk is actually already a talk show um and they interview like celebrities on that and i was like damn that's a really oh, good okay. name uh, and then i just went on to thesaurus.com and i was like all right what are some like and uh, synonyms for being drunk, right? And under the table is one of them. And so I like I to, think it fits. It I fit, think it kind of fits us. Uh, it fits us especially, right? I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's, it's very, I, mean, I thought you did it on purpose because of like the implication, but I <laughs> thought like, bit. <laughs> but I didn't know you wanted to go for tipsy talk. I like under the table though. That that feels good. I I, I yeah. like that I chose to go with this one because like um I think it's a it's a phrase for being so sloshed that you fall under the table, and b I like that it's sort of if I want this to feel less like you're going for an interview and more like it's kind of like an off the books sort of talk. No, where, like, we're just if there's anything, with friends. If there's anything that's been on your mind that you've wanted to like get off your chest and chat about with someone for for like an audience to see, if there's been like um you know. If there's something in the world, like artistically, that you really want to rant about, it's 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 kind of an off the books chat where you don't really have to worry so much. And I, because I feel like, especially in our position, I feel like a lot of us don't have the opportunity to talk to each other as much as we would want because everyone in this community is busy 24 7. we're all working always and a lot of the time like for example when you collab with somebody what you can wind up running into is like you will join call for the collab you will do the collab and the instant the collab is over you got to talk to your own chat and then you end call and then you guys don't actually really hang out much at all. yeah we can't really i mean sometimes you do like i've had those moments where like we uh i don't know besides us like there are times i blah, 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 blah. Oh, i'm slurring my words okay. i'm uh yeah <laughs> so uh, yeah i uh i've talked uh with some people before but like um after streams but it's really hard to because we have like sh commitments afterwards or something or like we just want to like go lay down or something because we're tired after stream like mm. it depends on the it's like we're busy right like that shit happens so it's not realistic right there's always i don't know there's always like uh stuff that goes on there's always stuff that goes on like outside of stream outside of like twitter like we, we still get to you know hang out and stuff but like you know it's it's hard it is hard like you said mm -hmm. um we try to but we, yeah, people we, are busy mm -hmm. we, we we do we do hang out a fair bit um but mm -hmm. i think like when it comes to you know it's like a lot of the time it's it, it's it's a shame because i think you know when we when when all of us years ago when we might have been younger we all sort of want like mm -hmm. Ah, uh, you know, like we can just we can just drop plans and hang out with people whenever we want, and we and but now it's like, oh, do you want to hang out soon? It's like, yeah, let me check my schedule. I'm gonna be available three weeks from now, and then it just becomes. Like a whole thing. <laughs> it's like, oh, let me That's let me pencil so you fucked. in. We can do. Let me pencil you in. We can do lunch. I'll have twenty minutes. You know, I was actually talking, dude. This is so sad because like you you remind me of the conversation I had with Mista yesterday. Like I talked to him a lot, but um, the thing is, like, what happened was we wanted to play legal league with each other. And uh, and I think he was like too tired yesterday to do so. So then they're like, "Oh, you want to you want to like do it this like this weekend or something like that?" And just like play then. I was like, "Sure, yeah, I'll be available during that." Like it just feels weird to say that now. Like right. when I think about hanging out with friends, I'm just, it feels it feels like more like on the fly. I'm like, "Hey, you want to play something right now?" I'm like, "Sure." I'm like, and then nowadays it's like for a good I'd say maybe more than seventy percent of friends, it's like. It can't be that like that impromptu. It's not that easy anymore. You can sometimes like, especially in like content creator world, like you gotta like schedule it maybe or like yeah. just make plans ahead of time. Like because like you know they don't know if um most of the time there's like conflicts and stuff. So you, you never know. It's especially weird. you guys, you know, because you're in uh you're in a company. So there's a lot of stuff like 
it might be going down behind the scenes with like I don't know other work and stuff. So I understand that, right? Like there's always there's always stuff to be done. So mm, mm. totally, like um, the I think it's. Yeah, no, you're right. I think you're also you're also right that I think um, what a lot of people don't see is that like um, when we're when we're streaming, it's like that's what you see, and it's like obviously if all we did was stream, then you know we would have plenty of free time. Oh, like, let me from... talk about that for a second too, bro. Uh, hey, everybody in chat watching right now, I just want you to know like everything you see on stream and on Twitter is not everything that goes on like between people right i think that goes without saying but i feel like some people don't understand that it's like <clears throat> there's a lot of shit that people talk about on like discord or like other messaging apps like not all of our interactions are gonna be on twitter right it's not gonna be on stream right so i think that's just i feel like for me that's understandable but i don't know for maybe some other people don't get that <clears throat> what, what's your thoughts on that because well, it feels like it feels i don't know for me it felt like common sense but i don't know I yeah think it's like something most people didn't really some people don't cross mm -hmm. and thank you for bringing it up by the way we were having a little chat about this beforehand because uh because mm. ob obviously you know we're not you know we we, we 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 read a lot of shit we see a lot of shit that people talk about uh, especially when it comes to us it's a lot of the time i think with twitter it's impossible to avoid because you'll wind up with one of those tweets that's like you might like and then it's someone saying some like nasty shit about you you know um but you know we we saw we saw today that after like the um like a little bit of miscommunication that people thought that uh people thought that we are the our friendship was in shambles and that we were, guys, like, were barely talking to each other and it's yeah, like oh he guys oh, he's I making fucking, so upset and it's like no i was just I a love, dumbass i love guys look like he's a dumbass i'm a dumbass it wasn't that big of a deal like it's not that big of a deal for me to be like oh i was like oh wait oh right this is supposed to be on your side okay it's like okay i'll just tell my community that is we're gonna be streaming on your perspective that's it's just that simple i don't know but some people seem to read too deep into it so i thought that was a little too much but like yeah guys it, it's like stuff like that where it's like <clears throat> it can get too much and understand like it's very easy for us to like adjust because we're friends you know and we we mm. can like communicate about that stuff like even if like what there's delays or something like that with anybody not just with me but like if fox collabed with literally anybody else and there was delays right then it's just it makes sense it just makes sense like you could just adjust like that there's no problem with communication there's no problem with like our friendship which seems a little odd to me i don't know why people go to that conclusion because that's a little silly in my opinion that's like a that's like an ultimatum in my like you go that far but yeah it's just like hey Yo, we're we're still we're still cool. It's just like oh, a small mistake. Okay, cool. Uh, we can adjust. No problem, mm -hmm. right? It's. I think yeah, that's go, all go. it is. But that's all it is. Mm. For me, it's it's an it's an interesting thing to have to get used to, you know, because uh, while we can go out of our way to say like, oh, don't read too far into it, you know, people always will because I think there's there's an extent to which, um, like when you when you know when you get this when you get as popular as we have, and I mean I mean especially you, like you've been you've been like ascending so far recently, and what it <laughs> oh, and what it, what, what, what what winds up happening is obviously in that kind of a situation you attract so many people that might come to different conclusions and the people. who who, you know, come to those Listen, conclusions will be louder I, about it. Yeah. And I think for me... There's, there's a fair amount of people, like, it's a very small amount, like, on both our sides, <clears throat> that will, like, make a... Pro like, you know, not really understand. But it's like... Uh, Oh my god, I just blacked out. I just blacked out. What did you say? What the fuck did you- Hold on, Robert, repeat take it what time, you take said, it time. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. No, no, what did you say? What the fuck did you say? Please tell me. Oh god. I was talking about... God, I don't even know. I was like, I was on my way to talk about like dudes group chats and like how, you know, it's it's never that deep when something goes wrong. It's like, in, a, in at least in the UK. Oh yeah, was... yeah, okay, yeah. It's yeah. never that, guys, it's not that deep, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't, they, just don't read too much into it, trust me. Like, I know you guys worry about me. Like, whether you're exclusively a kindred or exclusively a guildy or both overlap, it's okay. Like, you know, we have our preferences and that's totally fine, right? Everybody has their preferences, but like, don't read too much into like, I don't know our friendship yeah. like when you don't really know us that that deep right because like there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind twitter 
and it goes on behind Switch or YouTube and stuff, right? So, there's there's hey. always more going on. <laughs> there's always more going on than you think there is. There's always like where there are where uh, in public it looks like oh this person hates this person, this person hates that. In private, I I I can remember it was like there's this whole thing where you see discourse about yourself all the time where people will be saying oh yeah I bet this person hates this person. I bet this person hates this person. And then like meanwhile, and you go to like you go to Discord and we're sending each other like strange cat images and just being like hey. Do you reckon the do you reckon, do you reckon this one like I literally sent Mista, yeah, like this picture of like what a butt plug attached to a Taco Bell taco, right? Like, that's like, the best example. Like people are like, oh my god, wait. Like I can imagine some people being like, oh wait, they haven't interacted much lately. Do they hate each other? And then like you know, it's sad to think about that, but some people do go to that extent. And then you see like on the other side in Discord, me sending him cursed images and like making fun of him or some shit like that. Like that's yeah. just it's yeah, what, they don't know. What was people, it this morning? I mean, people won't, yeah. won't know that. So like, like we that. um we chatted about this and was like, oh, we should probably like chat about it and stuff like that. And like, I'm glad, I'm glad that like <laughs> my, the the main thing is that I'm really glad that we actually get to talk about this and just sort of be and just sort of be like, yeah, whatever, and you know, just kind of get it out in the open and be like, blah 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 blah. But also, other than that, this morning, what is it like? While everyone was speculating that we hated each other, I sent him an image of Adam Driver's feet, and he sent me a picture of a a cat that was full of painkillers i think and it's like it was just we were just going on about some dumb shit like we it was a very it. yeah it was a very chill cat <laughs> it's this little so, kitten with a really fat belly being like full of c8 h304 or something like that it was dumb as fuck it yeah. was really dumb <laughs> Oh, but yeah, guys, hey, I, I, I love him. Despite what you might think. Okay, also, like, hey, I'm I'm gonna have, like, some lore updates next month, too, oh, so really? you understand. But yeah, I, hey, look, maybe not all demons are bad, right? That, that's, all I'm, that's all I'm gonna say. That's mm, all I'm gonna say. Okay, I'll, I'll keep an eye out. I'll keep an eye out on uh, this journey of self-discovery that you're going on. I mean, I, if I can, like, be a little self-indulgent real quickly, I feel like um, Sholpo's journey like as uh as a demon slayer and like going through um what he's gone through like from if you've seen like his uh past like what's happened and like what led up to him wanting to become a demon slayer it's uh it's very like he's a morally gray character and that's how i wrote like i wanted to be a morally gray character right and it's like one hand you can become what you hate the most and be consumed by the very thing you despise the most and be corrupted mm -hmm. and become that thing like you know it's like how you see and <laughs> it's like how aaron yeager hates titans or like how uh, kaneki hates ghouls something like that right and then they like become that but um <clears throat> there's like another path you can take which is like you know learning to accept that so it's like you know i like having that flexibility knowing like you can become the very thing you hate or you can become better better than that i just burped in my mouth <laughs> oh. okay we're getting into real like demon slayer philosophy you can become the very thing you swore to destroy <laughs> i think that's hot <clears throat> i think that's really hot for people that play <coughs> oh that play final fantasy 14 and know about astinian and what happened with him then you know exactly what i'm talking about but that's just mm. me nerding out sorry okay back to back to what no, you no, i, I completely <laughs> agree with you and i can't think of any examples at the moment but i love the whole trope of like hero characters getting tempted by the darkness as like a path through which they can achieve what they want to achieve you know i mean i, I yeah, obviously yeah. in my last drunk drunk stream i went on and on and on and on and on about star wars and like the temptation of the dark side and shit like that and i probably shouldn't go on and on about star wars again but you know it's very hard to see like a hero a typical like sort of protagonist character go through like an evil arc or like a dark path i, I love, love that, shit that shit so much i don't know what's up with me maybe i'm just like edgy chuny kid that's still living in like what his his teenage years but i love just like seeing those like what stories of giving in a bit right mm -hmm. and like you know seeing like how it plays out like it just satisfies a need that i want to like you know understand like that's a li i feel like there needs to be more corruption arcs right i feel like there's a lot of people in chat that can agree with that yo there's gotta be more stories that implement corruption arcs in my opinion because like it's so fucking good like please give me the shit that's not like oh he redeems himself and becomes like a great character at the end no i want to see him get fucked up 
and like you know give in to his dark urges and like you know completely go batshit insane and maybe murder a few bitches right i don't know that's like it's cool to see it's cool to see like obviously like i don't know some people might be like oh isn't that problematic no no it's just like dude i just want to see somebody like lose their mind right i, I think that's cool mm -hmm, as hell. Mm -hmm. i think that's really cool as hell i yeah no i 100 percent agree with you and i think that like if we I think when it comes to fiction as well, like, I think we need to be a little more lenient about what characters are able to get away with because we need to understand that it's not actually real, you know? Like, if someone, let's say, for example, who's, like, a protagonist you can think of? Like, a really good guy or a good person that you can think of in real life? A good person that I can think of in real life? Bob <laughs> Ross, right? Bob Ross, yeah! Bob let's Ross. Go. What if, right? What if Bob uh -huh. Ross had a corruption arc? What if Bob Ross suddenly, like, he, his entire life, he would. So, do you want, do you know about. That actually works because you know about Bob Ross's backstory, how he used to be a, um, a drill sergeant in the army and he used to like his whole job was yelling at people and cussing them out and after he left i just the, don't that's what? real that's real that's 100 percent real bob, that's real bob, bob ross. ross yeah bob really ross. the dude that's like oh let me add a, add a little bit of white it's it's just, like what that, white. that used that bob ross used to be a drill yes. sergeant there's no fucking way you're lying bob to ross me. Hold used on, to i'm looking that a, up bob ross used to be oh, a mean motherfucker bob and he ross. used to cuss people out and he decided that after all of these years of cussing people out and being mean to people in the army, he decided that he would never yell at a person again. And he became the Bob Ross that we know and love today. So imagine, Dude. right, if Bob Ross at some point during his Joy of Painting career had like a mental breakdown live on air. Like he just punched, his, punched <laughs> the canvas. was like, I'm so fucking tired of being quiet. And he just started. Literally, pissing. yeah, that meme of like, oh, don't, aren't you tired of being nice? Don't you just go batshit crazy? Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, that's 100%. that one. percent Exactly. And so in real life, if that was to happen, I mean, I don't want to, I mean, actually, no, you know what? Fucking Will Smith, right? Like, the whole mm -hmm. going up on stage and smacking Chris Rock, oh, like... Dude, that was so satisfying. Everybody loved that slap, mm -hmm. dude. I... But of course, in real life, then, controversy happens. Tweets get written, articles get written, Will Smith isn't acting in any films anymore, all that kind of stuff, and it becomes like a whole deal, mm -hmm. because in real life, you don't go up to a random person on live TV and smack the shit out of them. It was really cool to watch. Might have been the greatest moment in the history of the Oscars. And it wasn't even scripted. But <laughs> that's that that is like a golden in, like memory of the Oscars. I think it will forever be remembered like as like the as such a visceral moment in television history. Like I love that shit so much. They're like everyone memed it for a solid month. It was so crazy. I've even seen people like draw memes of me slapping you like that or you slapping <laughs> yeah. somebody else like <laughs> There's just like, I loved it so much, it's so good. I, re I, I really like it. Obviously there's like memes of me slapping Kindred during the ASMR streams and shit like that. Um, but I think, God, I was gonna I was, I was gonna say something, I completely forgotten what it was. I'm already like, I'm already like two beers deep. Um, it was something about, but yes, right? So in something real- about fiction. In real life, in real life, Will Smith controversy, all that. Also, the thing I was going to say is that people originally, when he went up and slapped him, they thought it was staged because the crowd was laughing. And then he started like yelling, like, keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. People thought still, there's like, this has to be fake. This has to be fake. And then they were like, no, no, the Oscars would never fake something that genuinely funny. You know, like they, the Oscars <laughs> would never have the balls to do something like that. And I was like, ah, that makes sense. I really don't think so. Yeah, they no. wouldn't. There's, there's no way that's fake, especially given like mm. the fallout afterwards. Like we know it was real. And like, like the way Will Smith was yelling, like that's real. That was very real anger, wasn't it? Like I, I can't imagine a man like impromptu acting that genuinely. He took the opportunity and, and did it. Let's just say he he took his his mm -hmm. took his moment and went through. There's a moment yeah. from Flushed Away where the big rat Whitey he farts and he was like, oh, I saw an opportunity and I seized it. That was Will Smith. Um, mm. But to get back to the original point, <laughs> yeah, it's to get back to, after just discussing Will Smith for a while. To get back to the original point, the whole thing is that in fiction, more of that can happen because the thing about Will Smith, yes, it's controversial and yes, there's that, but it was really really entertaining for people mm. to follow, right? So in fiction, we should allow people, allow characters to get away with ridiculous shit because it's interesting to see like what it does to a character. Like I feel like, yeah, I feel like a lot of people can agree with this. 
everybody consumes so much fiction in like anime and cartoon whatever it may be right and like obviously there's like villains right let's say like we have we have a villain we have a villain in, in like a, a main story right and he like well i don't know like what wiped out a village or something like sephiroth level shit mm -hmm. and you would never people like sephiroth right everybody a lot of people love sephiroth but there's people that will make the association like oh you like him that means you want to like murder a village too no that's not what it means exactly. like he's just he's just funny he's just so memeable like he's just a really cool character too i just don't think like you liking a character or like liking what they do means like you support what they do or like support the actions that they've done or like the support whatever happens inside of it because like there's like a bear there's like a line there right people got to understand there's like this line and that's the that's the beauty with like you know writing a story right that's the beauty of me like writing my own story about like what having my own what family get what wiped out by this demon and having my best friend killed it's like i can do that because it's not real in the to so it lets me experiment and just like you know broaden like my story writing skills and like explore these like concepts and themes a little bit better and i feel like there's like so much more like people don't understand about it and that's like there's a beauty to it because like you know you can't do it like why would i ever like ask somebody to be like hey yo go like obliterate this village my my own family and all that like that doesn't make sense right yeah and, like you write it for yourself it's just there's a there's a there's a there's a line there's a line let's just say that Okay. Yeah, there's definitely yeah, yeah, people there's need to distinguish that line. You know, in fiction, you can have your entire family wiped out by demons, but then you know, it, you understand that it's it's fiction, and then in real life, you can go and fuck a demon, and then it doesn't really matter. So, you know. Okay, sir, you're projecting right now. Am I projecting? Am I projecting, or am I simply I giving people? I, what they I want? think you are. I don't know. Lately, you've been a little bit more like uh, pulling on my pulling on my cock and like <laughs> trying to trying to get me uh, riled up in the more recent times. I don't know about that, man. Like, uh, it seems like you're trying to make some uh, some some moves. Maybe. I think I just I think Versus I just me. love the way you react. I've I've seen um what is it like people people when people write out what like um what i done what our dynamic is like there's there was one where it's like a crow two crows and one of them is like really craning its neck to look at the other one and the other one is like looking at the ground and me and like shoto and it's and the, and the other crow looking at the ground is like don't look at me <laughs> you know what last night um i was on alira's stream oh yeah and uh, ooh. Hold up. Bless you. last night on alira's stream oh, thank you i had to i was like uh hanging out there right and she just decided to do a Shoto impression. And you know, all she said was like, oh, guys, I'm not a bottom star. <laughs> <laughs> and that's literally how she said, that was my Shoto impression. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> that's so uh, mean. Guys. <laughs> guys, I'm not a bottom, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good girl. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> your, demon, your, demon. Oh, yeah, um, your demon is here for you. <laughs> oh, that's a very flattering impression. I like it. Hold on, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take my sweater off. I... I put, I put, I yeah, put I'm getting hot, so dude. I feel like I should take my shirt off. Delivery this people without being naked, and it was, it was, it was exhausting, and it's very hot in here. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna dispense with that. I'm Vox Akuma. Yes, that's my girl. Mm. Are you? Uh, oh, oh, is it? Is it you who's projecting now? Mm -mm. I would have said that's my boy <laughs> if I was projecting. <laughs> oh my god, that vodka is killing my throat, yo. Do you want do you want that's my boy in the in the like ah uh, that's my boy? Or do you want that's my boy in the Who's a good boy? Who's a, who's a, who's a, who's a good boy? Like you get a Labrador and you start like rubbing its ears, you're like, Who's a good boy? <laughs> I like dude, to be honest, I feel like I've I've been like conditioned at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like, by both, like so, by both my chat, my community, by you, to be like respond positively. So when people will be like, "Oh, good boy," right? When I hear "good boy," I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "Hold on, wait. Let me put on the dog. Hold on. I have a dog ear toggle. Give me a second. It's gonna turn on any second now." Oh, where'd he go? He disappeared. Um, I'll, I'll show. Yeah, yeah, I'll show up in a moment. <laughs> okay, okay. He, my, my, my boy is loading. Uh, some dog boys do this. They start loading. Um, you're just gonna have to give them a second. Yeah, I have a buffer. I have to buffer up and shit like that. It's like the AI. Oh, there it is. Hey, hi. <laughs> oh, he's a good boy. He's a good yeah, boy. it's like... <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <But yeah. laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, I what was I talking about? Anna? Oh fuck. Um, yeah, people. Have, I feel like people have conditioned me into feeling like, yo, when when I hear that, I like respond in like a like neuron activation moment, right? Like even it's gone so bad in that real life. I've heard in real life people be like petting their own dog and be like, oh, who's a good boy, right? And then mm. I look over, I'm just like, oh. And I'm like, oh wait, no, that's not for me. <laughs> because it's been so consistent every time I stream or like every time I interact with anybody, it's like, oh, I can't get away with like, oh, it's a good boy coming right there. It is. It is so strange how streaming will like impact the way you interact with your real life. You know, like I get the exact same thing where I will be out in public and then I'll hear someone ref uh, speak to their father and they'll and they'll and they'll say, hey, daddy. I'm like. Excuse me. Like I, I'll immediately just turn around, and be like, "Is that is that for me?" Or like, God damn the box. God damn the box. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! You are. You, uh, what's the word for sleazy? Yeah, sleazy. 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 Yeah. I like being sleazy. I've accepted that that's who I am. It was. It's. It's been a. It's been a strange journey, and I'm actually. I'm actually curious. That's a good question. Um. So, like, just to put it in context, for me, my journey, like, to where I am now, has been a sense of like joining Luxium, being labeled as like the hot one and the daddy character, and then all of a sudden, like, after being uncomfortable with it for a while, I just kind of got used to it and learned to love it, and now I. I think it's like, and now I just kind of like accept the compliments and everything. What was your journey like? Because I can't imagine that when you very <laughs> first began as Shoto, oh, I can't imagine that you were already going with this sussy bottom dog boy shit. I was like, where oh, did that begin? No, 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 no. How did that uh, evolve? He here's you know? here's how it's been. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you. Is that what people say? Like I'm gonna be completely Three, honest. Take it or leave it. For for like it's I've been streaming people know I've been streaming for like about two and a half years. I've been like building up my my brand and platform for like, you know, a while now, right? Compared to like, I don't know, more recent VTubers. But mm. um I've learned a lot. The jokes that have stayed permanent since day one is the bottom jokes, believe it or not. It's just become <laughs> more rampant since the beginning of the year. So I'm I've been used to it. You know, like I've received it for what, however, for as long as I can remember, it's just been around like, ha ha ha. Hey, he's a bottom guy. <laughs> it's totally not overused and not funny anymore. Let's keep calling him bottom. <laughs> Look at him bottom. So, I mean, like, <clears throat> obviously I know what I am. I personally believe I am a switch, but you know, I will, I, if people want to call me a bottom and be like, oh, this is our bottom. I am okay with it too because I don't know it seems kind of sweet but at the same time like I do acknowledge like yeah it's been it's been used for like imagine going what I've gone through guys for two years right look you know Scarla like she recently is like oh no why are people calling me a bullyable bottom <laughs> oh, no. and like I'm like here just like you know at the at the fucking um just what was that one picture? It's like first time. Like I'm first just looking time. at her like, hey, you're, yeah, you're, first time. You're, you are yeah. beginning your journey. If you're playing Mario, you're at 1-1 one one, and there are eight different worlds of being called a bottom. And also, I think from that, I did look at that and for a second I was like, oh no. Because I think the main aspect of, there's being a bottom sexually and then there is being a bottom as a person, you know? And I think that what people have come to learn is that the most bottom personality trait is getting really flustered and upset when someone calls you a bottom. Also, I do want to say this real quick because like this was on my mind. Uh, a lot of people say like, yeah, it's like not funny anymore or like whatever bottom jokes or like whatever, not like, I feel like it's up to the person. Like it's like yeah. the consent of it. Like, hey, I'm okay with it. Of course, like if I was never okay with it, I would have said something a long time ago, right? There's never a time like I'm not okay with it. Like, and obviously Mista, the same goes for him as well. Like he's not tired of it. Like he gets called it all the time. He plays into it, right? Like, yo, um, some people aren't okay with it. Just don't like, hey, I think people just shouldn't like, you know, automatically put that on just anybody like think it's okay right like you know just make sure like hey they're okay with those kinds of jokes and stuff like that i'm obviously i'm okay with those types of jokes because it's funny uh, it's it's like to an extent right and um wait what was your question again fuck me <laughs> 
<laughs> you, don't question, have to, you don't have to worry about it. Basically, I think you already answered it. It was just like, you know, what was the journey from your the beginning of your stream to the end? Like any developments to your personality and that kind of stuff. But it seems, oh, like, yeah. seems like you've kind of just been this way always. Like you've never really I changed. Think, I think it's like a sleeper cell, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like they've activated that sleeper cell, with, especially with the dog voice up. Like people are like, oh my God, he must love Praise Kink. I'm like, no. Uh, I mean, maybe I don't know. Do I? And then, and then all of a sudden, like in real oh. life, when someone says "good boy," it immediately activates like a dopamine response yeah, in your I brain. Yeah, I don't think it's it's more like me being so like, oh wait, I'm gonna be a little deep here, yo. I don't, I don't, I used to never receive that many compliments when I grew mm. up because it's like you know, just like, uh, it's just the nature of like an Asian household. I think people who are like you know Asian along with me like know how it is. Like, they, what they the best that your parents give you in terms of like emotional support and praise. It's like, oh, uh. Hey, or have like more food for dinner or something like that they don't they're oh good job and like they don't really acknowledge it it's more like they expect it right so growing up and like being expected to hit those expectations and just like you know trying to like appease like you know people in your life that expect that much out of you you don't really get that type of compliment right so then later on like i feel like for me it's like getting complimented this much by people who i don't know and people who like you know actually like my content and want to support me it's crazy because it's like wow you guys actually want to stick around and like you like my stuff and you actually want to say like positive things to me about like you know what i've been doing or like i've been a hard worker or whatever like i'm sure you've received like just as much as i i have or not even more if not more like in terms of like people telling you you've been doing like hard work and doing a good job right it's just like <laughs> yeah yo it's, it feels good right especially if you've been like kind of depraved of it right i feel like anybody can relate to that like if you haven't been complimented or like you know been recognized for like the work you've done or like how hard you've worked throughout your life or for like literally anything it, it gets to a point where it's like you will go after crumbs <laughs> of like of like you know of approval positive, yeah yeah of approval yeah that's the word thank you of approval to um you know you know see that um you know desire for uh you know that recognition i guess if you want me to get like real technical with it, but i think that's like uh, my way of explaining it and i don't know that's how like i've been playing into the whole dog boy thing I guess. <laughs> if i want to be real with it it feels good though it feels nice but at the same time i do got to be real with myself and think like oh that's probably why i like getting compliments a lot i've said it before on stream too i think like i've said like yo i don't get complimented a lot so it's not i'm not used to it right i'm not a person who's used to getting like stuff like that because throughout my whole life it's like not very common and stuff because of the people that i surrounded myself with except for like my friends like my friends are awesome like like you for example you know you always say like i do a good job and like thank you you know like i work really hard and you acknowledge like my achievements that's really sweet of you right mm, but, you know. yeah beforehand like before that it used to be more scarce right no matter how hard you worked because like yo you'll uh end up Oh my god, I, feel, I just felt the whole room turn upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get the thing where you kind of close your eyes and then you feel like you're spinning backwards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I. it's more like I did a backflip type of deal this time. Okay. <laughs> oh but yeah, that's, that's he's really, my... Uh, he's really getting that. That's my uh, opinion on that. That is that is a really insightful answer to that question. And like, I completely agree with you. I think, I think it's interesting because when you get into this position, like, you're exposed not only to so much... Um, so much positivity, but also a lot of negativity as well. And so learning to manage the the things that you read about yourself, it, I don't think anyone really prepares <laughs> you for that. Because um, for, mm -hmm. like we, we follow different paths, right? Like you were in indie, you know, you've been streaming for a really long time, but it's like only recently that you went from being like sort of like, you know, on the level you were used to and then boom, you know, up to like the, the same level as like as like me and the Luxian boys and everything. It's a big change. And I don't think anyone really prepares you for yeah. how that is going to be. And no and... one is prepared for that. Like, it's hard. Like, if I want to be real again, it's like I was slow growth. And it's like all of a sudden there's so much support. I have not only like, you know, the like more recognition from male VTubers in the most like this year to thank for that but like you know my my community on billy billy i do have to thank for that too and on tiktok like both of those communities really helped me like you know get more recognition out there too so like i feel like it really you know helped in terms of um getting more people to see my content and i'm really glad that people enjoyed my content after being like you know like 
being spread around these different platforms by people that are genuine fans and like you know clippers and all that stuff like that support will never like i will never take it for granted because it goes such a long way and it means a lot to me that like you know people took the time to even do stuff like that it's just it means so much and i think any streamer can say like clippers or people that like you know help you know promote who they are outside of like their usual spaces you guys are goats like thank you for doing that because like you have an opera you have like a moment like where i managed to get more you know people to see who i am and what i do and i think that's really nice and it's something i'll be eternally grateful for and so that's just damn how that, that damn how good answer good fucking answer like <laughs> like that was i can't even remember what my what my own question was but like i th <laughs> i think um yeah like we I think I think I asked a question and then we had a tangent, but the tangent was really interesting. And now I want to play off the tangent, and I'm just trying to like place place the question somewhere that makes sense. I <laughs> it's God, it's difficult when you're drunk. Okay, it is right, it, dude. It is, like, right? I I'm like, lost my I lose my train of thought like after a bit. I'm like, oh shit, what were we, shit, talking, what, what were we about talking about? <laughs> it's like I remember I was watching um, to get ready for this. I was watching a load of talk shows like Conan O'Brien and stuff, and I was like, man, these people mm -hmm. are so charismatic, and they always know what questions to ask. There's never a moment of dead air, Aww. and I'm like. And I felt like I was doing dude. good, and now I'm drunk, and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Can I like take a moment so you like, guys? Vox works so hard. Like he even prepared. Like he watched talk shows beforehand. That's so sweet, in my opinion, to like get ready for this. This is his first talk show too. So like, I think that goes like a long way. Somebody that's willing to like go that hard and like do their homework or like you know research into like how to, you know, run something like this. That's why I, I like Vox a lot. He's a he's a really nice person and mm. like works really hard too. Man, I I think like people like you are very very uh for lack of a better word like it's very like attractive not in like a romantic sense and more like a like you know oh like an inspiring sense you know like that's good that's a good that's thank you man that's in that's incredibly sweet and i have to say like you really strike me in the same way because you know while you know while i i do think i work hard i think that the biggest thing holding me back is the i'm very as people know i'm very disorganized and i I'm not very good at like managing my time. I'm not very good at like a load of different things, but like, you know, you are managing your, <laughs> you're managing your Billy Billy, you're managing a different TikTok account, you're, you have a YouTube channel, you have a Twitch channel, and you're like, no matter how, no matter which one of those channels receives more love, you're putting your all into each of them and you're kind of doing your Aww, best to kind of market you, yourself and everything. And I think if anything, that's like the most exciting part of this, of this experience is getting to meet people who like, who can do all of this stuff. And then they look at you with the same kind of admiration that you look at them. Like that's, that's pretty nuts to me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of people forget, like I am indie. Like I did sign under like a, a talent agency to like represent me for like sponsorships and stuff recently, but like I'm still indie. Don't get me wrong. Like um, and I still like have to manage like all of my platforms, like uh, like Billy Billy, like you said, YouTube, Discord. You know, I have my own Discord server, which is really big. Like and um, Twitter. Like it's all me, right? It's not like I have uh people to do that for me. So it's it's a lot more work than people um would imagine. I think and uh. It, it means a lot that you know you took the moment dude i love you Mwah, come here i, 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 it takes a I lot. love you too man shut the dude, fuck up it, mm. I, it takes a lot more work than you think to uh you know set up some like you know manage like multiple platforms like that on your own mm. versus like um you know if you had like you know a whole team of people to do that for you or like you know man or like a management team to do that for you it's like a holy it's a different ball field in my opinion so, oh yeah like for me personally, I feel like my workflow is always just like, I will just sit there and listen to the way that I am feeling on a given day, and then I will do what I am feeling like I have the capacity to do. If I, you know, like if I, I feel like if I was, because I don't watch TikTok, I do not have the app, and I don't really care to either, like it's just not really my thing. I feel like if I had a TikTok, the only way that I would be able to keep it going is I would just pay like two or three people, like an editor and like a social media manager. And I was like, guys, I don't want to think about it. Just do it. Just do it yourself. <laughs> like, just do this on your own. And like, I will pay you a monthly wage. Just go and do that. And I will just not think about yeah. it, you know? Hmm. It's, it's like, what what was it that guy said? What was it, like, what, Warren Buffett or something? Like, the really rich investor guy who was like, you gotta yeah, find a way the, to make money like, 
find a way to make money while you sleep or you'll be working for the rest of your life. And I was like, oh shit, you know, it's because, I mean, as streamers, like, yeah, we, we do make a lot of money, but you have to like be actively doing so much all the time. And there's, there's no taking a break either. It. Like, even yeah, the best way to describe it don't. is like uh, you you exchange a nine to five work schedule for a twenty four seven work schedule in a way like that's the best analogy I can make it. Mm -hmm. Like, even when you take it, like for example, recently I took a week off. Um, I went camping and stuff. But while I was there, I was tweeting. I was taking pictures. I was thinking about my numbers. I was like stressing about oh, like how how much is my daily growth going to shrink when I get back and all that kind of shit. And then I get back and I'm like, oh, there's this and there's this. When you do take a proper break, there is still the anxiety of knowing that the only person responsible for your own success is you. And if you take a break, no one is responsible for that success. And that success mm -hmm. might not be around for as long as you think it will be. And I, th I would, I, I've heard a lot of stories about how like what is it like the the mental health of everyone who makes youtube videos is just in in the shitter like nobody is having a good time i mean we're having a good time but everyone deals with like pretty immense insecurity when it comes to like a the quality of their own content and how much people care about their own content i would almost say that it's sort of made worse by like okay this is going to sound really boomerish of me but do you go, do you remember in like 2016 when everyone was making diss tracks on each other like i remember there was a diss track meta on youtube mm -hmm. and like literally everyone's trying to make diss tracks i didn't get it personally like i wasn't a fan of it that much but yeah it was a meta i remember that like you had you had like ksi and rice gum and keemstar and all of those old 2016 youtube classics and all of these people who were just doing all of this weirdo shit and the whole I think every one of us is affected by the fear of that word that fucking, what was his name, Rice Gum, that he kept throwing around irrelevant, you know, like, Irrelevancy. we all want to feel like we're relevant to the scene. We all want to be able to bring something unique that people are, people are talking about us like, he said this and this caused this. We want to have an impact and we want to be remembered by people. And I think the strange thing about being online is that it's so un unpredictable, like, what will result in you being relevant versus irrelevant you know it's really difficult to imagine when you wake up one day people are love people love you and they're you know and they're and they're retweeting everything and they're sending you hugs and hearts and everything and then mm. maybe the next day you never know what might have happened and then maybe people just feel a dip feel a different way it's it's a it's a wonderful career to be a part of and it's so exciting to get into it but it's also like as if rice come it's also like so difficult to really go into it without it really kind of like latching onto a part of your brain and not letting go you know i feel like um i am a per i'm a person that lives in the moments very much so i like to think about the future a lot i do worry about the future but i am a very like i live in the now right I'm a very, yo, it, it happens as it happens and I'll appreciate the moments and memories that I make as it happens. And despite who stays and who goes, I will forever appreciate those people that took the time and came by and said that they wanted to be a part of my life even for a little bit. And if they have to go, then hey, that's okay. At least we shared a good memory or two, right? And I know like, um, like the need to be relevant and like you know try to stay immortal on like uh on the internet right but my philosophy is like hey i know i'm not forever i know i won't be forever but while the time i have right now lasts i want to make a big impact or as big of an impact as i can to make people remember me for as long as they can mm -hmm. or the people that stayed to remember me as long as they can so i know like hey things change right things change but um i don't know anything could happen i'm like speaking pessimistically sorry <laughs> i think it's but, very like, wise I, though i think it's very wise because, i think about yeah. people like markiplier right mm. like him like he has been somebody i looked up to for the longest time since like what 2012 i've always watched markiplier right i always remember markiplier everybody loves markiplier and i feel like he's still so relevant now i love his videos dude his pokemon pass or smash dude you didn't watch that that was so I funny love smash pass 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 pass, pass and then smash. he looks and he's like smash and he moves on i, <laughs> yeah, I fucking he, love that I, he's like i love when he got to like am i a furry 
<laughs> smash. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love his videos so much. Like, he's such a good, you know, everyone loves, I love Markiplier. He's a good person. He's a good content creator. Like, that's what I strive to be, right? I feel like, um, I feel like I strive to be somebody that's uh, like him. And no matter, like, anything can happen, like, five years from now. You know, like, how job interviews are like, oh, how do you see yourself five years from now? It's like, it's I don't hard fucking to know. Dude, I don't know. Like, you know, you want to be big, like, you know, you want to dream big, right? That's why I always like to, like, you know, have a big canvas for myself and see myself, like, in a bigger goal, uh, you know, down the line than I actually am. But I really do believe that, hey, it's hard to see yourself and what exactly you'll be doing mm -hmm. like years from now it's really hard, difficult but hey i do return to that philosophy like i said that whatever i do right now is more important than anything like i have to worry about down the line like i just want to focus right now on making myself happy and uh making sure like the other people that are around me are also happy but damn yeah. <laughs> That's a really like inspiring philosophy, honestly, because I think, um, you know, what I'm often consumed by is, uh, you know, not living in the now. Like I tend to sort of be obsessed with A, the past and B, the future, but I never really think too much about what's happening right in front of my own nose. And maybe I could learn a lot from you in that sense as well. Like you are right that Markiplier is amazing. And to be honest, I think my lifelong dream of being a, being on YouTube, I want to collab with Markiplier one day. That is like my Make-A-Wish dream. <laughs> because I mean, I, I don't know, we both, too, we both have oh a red God. theme, we both have deep voices, and we both like FNAF. Like, it just makes sense. I love Markiplier, dude. Like, it's such a big dream to even, to be able to even bad, like play a game with him. That like, recently I got to play with uh, Porter Robinson, right? I and heard he about is, that, yeah. Yeah, Um, I got to participate in a League of Legends event with Porter Robinson, and he is a huge huge inspiration in terms of like my musical aspirations he is like one of the most like talented people i could have ever like been like had the honor of listening to their works and music and such and so on but getting to play with him and listen to his philosophy on like life music and seeing how much he appreciates life in itself i love that so much i really would not take that for granted and it's like getting to play with your role model is on a n whole nother level because like you get to see them for who they are and they actually are who they are and do those conversations and it just feels like you know you're on top of the world and you're just like flying to the moon it feels so great and i'm just i'm i'm really i'm really happy i got that opportunity and like one of these days you know like me or you could get to like you said mark of playing with mario yeah like you never it's know it's such a big dream you never know. I, I never would have imagined, like, two, three years ago, I would have gotten to play League of Legends with Porter Robinson. But, hey, it happened. Mm -hmm. And at this point, like, why not dream big, right? Why not dream bigger and, like, hope that it can happen, possibly, down the line, right? It's... Mm. And I think that that's, that's the crazy thing about, specifically, this industry, is the internet moves fast. You, you can be, you know, as, 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 um, I think, I think honestly it's weird because I think Sho and myself have, exp even though he's been working specifically as a VTuber for longer, like, we've all been in this business for a long time, you know, we've all been doing a lot of work and we've tried to make things work for a long time and it's when, A, for me, being accepted into Niji Sanji and for Sho, you know, finding success, you know, um, and fi finding that big boom through Billy Billy and, uh, and TikTok mm -hmm. and stuff it's all very sudden you know and it, it, it all coincided with each other quickly. too like i feel mm -hmm. like like my and like luxium and like niji's blow up like kind of like more people looked for male vtubers at that time too like so that's why i do like feel like that that period of time was just like really golden for like us as like me and you and like everyone else mm. that like wants to get into the like vtubing industry because like i'm gonna be honest before like the male youtuber like scene was like not that big but yeah. now it's like a lot bigger now it was very big in japan like... with people like uh you know kuzahan kanai yeah. and all of that kind of stuff but english male vtubers there were no real like big hitters you know very few big winners and then you know it 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 feels very it's weird to admit but it's amazing to sort of acknowledge that luxium was I a like huge real, though, part like, in see? changing yeah. that you know mm-hmm it is like yeah that's why like i do acknowledge like hey yo, yo like every, everything that happened um 
for both of us and for like you guys especially with the Luxium debut like it helped like pave a good path and that's why I like right now like my goal right now it's like one of my goals was like to pave a path for people that want to get into VTubing like mm. and even like whether you're a female or a male or like whatever you want to identify yourself as it's like I want people to like you know make their own journey and that's why I like I pride myself in being a title of a guild leader you know it's like paving that journey to like becoming who you want to be and if like vtubing is that path too then all the more better right so. man you know what that's giving me just this mental image right of you as the as a guild leader you know someone who's inspiring smaller vtubers to kind of get into, get into the game practice get better and stuff I'm now, I'm telling you, like, obviously no pressure, but fan artists, I'm imagining like an older, more grizzled Shoto, maybe slightly more muscular, <laughs> maybe with a beard, you know, just, you know, he sits in the back of the guild hall and they're like, that Shoto, you don't know what happened to him, but we're all here because he's here. And then they all, Shut up, bro, they all, and then they all, they all go, go up to him and he's, 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 he's tossing his knife in the air. He's tossing his knife in the air and he's like, so... You want to be a VTuber? And he stabs his stabs his knife into the table, and he's like, "Do you have what it takes, my boy?" And then he squash buckles with you. Oh my god, dude! It just makes me think, like, dude, where are we gonna be like ten or twenty years from now? I don't fucking, that's an insane question. That's an insane question. I mean, like, God, I don't even know what I was doing twenty years ago. I mean, it's been a long lifetime, but I think twenty years ago I was like doing genuinely absolutely fucking nothing like and then mm -hmm. you know you sort of get into the idea of sort of building yourself up and then it sort of it, for me it felt like a very long and slow process where you begin with like oh, maybe this will work and then it starts growing and you're like, oh, maybe this will work and then suddenly Niji Sanji <laughs> and for you suddenly the growth yeah. <laughs> and then you're in it and from there everything feels possible everything in the world feels possible it's I feel like um it's important to know like not everybody's ready for that like growth right mm. like i can't imagine how it was like i mean i mean i'm in the same boat what am i talking about but like being under that that like stress or like you know that pressure of like having so many eyes on you mm. so soon and so quickly it's like it's hard to adapt right and i think it's important like i said this before but guys being patient with people can go a long way right it's not realistic and i feel like a lot of people especially younger people don't know how real it is to be like patient with other people like i see so many people out there that are just like willing to just drop somebody so quickly in like a few seconds if they don't like do something perfectly to their expectations and i feel mm. like that's not a healthy way to think but who knows maybe those people will in a few years later realize like how dumb they were right and because like, i feel like that's a dumb like uh, you know mindset to live by to just like you know just drop somebody immediately after like not doing something to what they expect or what they want that's such a like i don't agree with it i i will never agree with that but what we went through what you went through what luxian went through what any of like you know anybody that's blown up recently it's just hard to say you should know how to do this or that off the bat right it's not that simple guys like, yeah god even it... if i've been in here for two years or so plus i'm still learning i'm still learning Lo like vox is still learning like shoes still learning is still learning like even the new aluna people they're still learning too there's so many people that are still learning right now and i just feel like it's so important for people to be patient with each other because it goes so long and I, they will love you so much for the fact that you decide to like give them that time of day to like you know understand where they're coming from and just like be patient with their growth and like what they learn about because man it's not easy okay it will never be like just that simple in some people's mind right some people think it's just like that easy but it will never be that easy and no. temp different people take a different amount of time to get used to like you know what they want to do and what they want to be and what they want to like present to the world and no matter if you're like a niji sanji if you're an indie vtuber or if like you're not even a vtuber at all if you're just like a camera streamer like anything you could be doing right now just please hey be patient for for your the people that you want to support okay and yeah. understand like they're they're learning and if you understand that they're learning then hey and you'll you'll be in for much more of a uh, adventure than you uh, set yourself out to um, expect. And 
it's going to be a beautiful one too no matter who you decide to follow whether you're just a kindred a guildy a mistake or anybody that you're following hey give them that chance please okay that's all i ask patience is such an important thing to have it is man i always mm -hmm. will i will never not like spread that um of what spread that advice it's so important to me and so important to like how i live and how i see other people right like you know you could make like one small mistake one person could be like oh no that's terrible they're they're problematic <laughs> <laughs> just throw like yeah. one tiny little thing like all, all then, it takes all it takes is one drunk stream talking about one porn category you happen to like a lot more than the others and suddenly <laughs> there's like a whole Devoxed. avalanche Devoxed. of people judging you and it's like what the f you know i think dude, dude, look look i know you're a good person yeah. like, there's so many people that knows you're a good person like look just don't remember i feel like people in the future the like when they grow up a little bit more they'll understand a little bit like you know about mm. being open to like i think so maybe too. they won't but here the important thing is like having that conversation like guys have a conversation okay uh i think it's important even if you don't agree with someone it's important to have that conversation and have that exchange so you can better understand like i feel like people don't even like bother wanting to have that conversation to like understand like where that other person's coming from right and that's like the most immature thing that i can ever like think of that happens online or like anywhere or in real life like it's just a, a concept that applies anywhere like if you don't want to listen to somebody right then i feel like you're just being as much of a, a child i don't know it's just hey give them the patience and time unless they've like proven themselves to not be worthy of your time right like i feel like most people can agree to that <laughs> I'm, I'm rambling right no, now you, but, like, you I, are but it's so inspiring like i think I, it's such yeah the, continue, the, the thing the thing about it is that i don't think anyone who gets in this position is really ready for what they're gonna have to deal with i mean the expectations put upon you are so much more than what you're expecting i mean i can speak for everyone in luxium when like we said you know how much, you know, how, you know, when we auditioned, it was like, how many viewers are you expecting to get on the regular? It's like, oh, I'll be like a 1.5, like a 2K Andy or whatever it is. And it's like, that would be enough. You know, just having, having like enough support to like be able to play games and just have fun, whatever. Mm -hmm. Being what, like, like you and I winding up, I think probably like the fastest growing male VTubers that there are at the moment is mm -hmm. like so far beyond what any of us were, were anticipating. Like that's kind of ridiculous and what that comes with is so much responsibility what that comes with is the idea that you need to live up to a certain expectation and once you grow to a certain point there comes this inner understanding that you need to then do better you need to do great to to us to like get that success then you need to do even better than that mm -hmm. to keep that success going and then you need to do even better than that and when you do even better than that you might grow a little bit more, a little bit more every time, but it becomes harder and harder to push the envelope and to grow a little bit farther than you normally would. And when that happens, what you wind up doing is maybe you'll have one day where things are, maybe you make, maybe you make a mistake. Maybe you say something wrong. Maybe you do something where people don't really turn up in as big a numbers as they would normally. Mm. And what you wind up doing is doubting yourself so much because you know, it's like, obviously, we're so privileged to be here, but I, you, you yeah. hit a point where, you know, when all it takes is, like, waking up in the day, like, like, for me recently, I've had such a hard time, like, um, you know, having this weird TV saga and, like, trying to keep up <laughs> with jobs from management and trying to stream every single day and trying to also, having recently moved and now living on my own and trying to figure out how to how to sort of organize my time and everything like that. And then after a day where you feel like you spent and going to the gym like five times a week and trying to like manage what that feels like. And then Yo, after me all and that- on the gains. On the get, me and Shoto are yeah. gonna be like, are gonna be like Arnold Schwarzenegger by the end of the week. Like honestly, <laughs> just, just, just count on it. But I want someone to edit like our faces onto the, the Giga Chad, you know, and just have us <laughs> like getting some gains, you know. Dude, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. We've been both like we, honestly it's kind of surprising we both started our journey like in the same time like in terms of like just like huh we're gonna go to the gym yeah let's, let's fucking yeah. do it and get like you know treat our bodies better both trying to grow an ass let's go yeah 
I mean, no. I've already grown an ass. I don't know about you, but... Nah, I'm, I'm still working on it. But, like, my... Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. Now that I've been working out, I while I was playing Ring Fit during my 24-hour stream, which I still can't believe that I streamed for 12 hours straight, took a two-hour nap, and then got up and did Ring Fit for three hours, like that... Oh, my God. Like, like I, I, I was appropriately coated in a layer of sweat after that. But... I have to be honest. When I was when I was doing the running segments, I could feel like I I, I could kind of feel my cheeks clapping. To be honest, like I, I think they were growing. They were growing quite a bit. It was going Dude, like, like when I stand up, I'm gonna stand up right now. Like I can feel how tight my butt cheeks are. Let's like, go. I can, can feel we, how like can I do that? firm the muscles are. Like, yeah, when fuck, I, my ass is like hard. Yeah, my ass is fat, dude. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. Like you can feel it. Like if you do more like butt work, like I, it doesn't just have to be squats, but like you use like an elliptical machine, like anything to mm -hmm. help like your glute, your glute, like your gluteal muscles. Your gluteus right? maximus. <laughs> yeah, it helps like develop it more, right? And it's not only that, but like just me eating a lot of protein too has been like helping. Like okay, look, I want to have a good ass, right? Like having yeah, a good me ass is too, always nice, but like I just want to have like more muscle overall and it's been happening like i'm so proud of myself and i feel like you should be proud of yourself too dude mm. if you've been like you know keeping at it be proud of yourself dude you got you're getting like you know those gains you're making yourself like feel better every day because like exercising in itself like every single day or like as much as you can gives you more energy overall and like you just feel better right you like, really especially, do especially like Especially like after quarantine shit. Oh my god, quarantine ruined like so much of us. And Ugh. like after that, now we get to finally like, you know, take hold of our lives again and just like, you know, find that, you know, sense of control over like what we want to do. And like, thank God, like people know this already, but I used to, you know, I used to have a job and like I don't do that anymore. Like because um I had the wonderful opportunity of like my community having my back and supporting me to like transition over to full time streaming, right? And uh, I'm very happy that I can do this full time for anybody and stream like as much as I want to as for as many people that are willing to watch me. And it's just like now that I have that time, I don't I can like actually like spend more time to take care of myself as much as I want to. And the results have been phenomenal. And I'm so happy that you're also doing it, too, because like I can relate with another person like, hey, you have more time to take care of yourself, too. Hey, yo, we're on this journey together. Let's go. We're going to get more muscle. We're going to get more fit. We're going to be more energetic. You're not going to be an old man, you 400 year old bastard. I've so. never. Yeah, I'm an I'm old man. Old. I'm an old man. You're literally, no, you're an old man, man, yes, you man if I don't have the metabolism and the strength of an of, mm. of, of a young Spartan male. You know, I'm just. Whoa. You're you're fucking decrepit, man. Let's no, get you I'm back to fucking bed, not. No, I'm yes, not. You are, come, dude. You lost come your... to my house. Enter dude, my house, and I will you, arm you, wrestle like, you. Come and die afterwards. No, no. <laughs> like, I I'm come. Still ready I come. To go. I come three or four times a day, and every uh -huh. time it makes me feel stronger. <laughs> if you come yeah, to my house sure. and I arm wrestle you, I will shatter the table. I will. There's fuck one of these days. You. One of these days, we're gonna have like an actual arm wrestle. Oh, dude, you know what? Hey, if we actually do like meet up sometime and have an mm -hmm. arm wrestle, I'm gonna hold that to you, okay? All right, fuck I'm gonna it. Let's hold do that it. to you, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare for that. All right. I'm gonna right, get stronger for it. the purpose this, of beating bots right now. In arm this is when I level up, like the amount I'm working out. This is when I go from having one cheat day a week to having none. This is when I am consuming like 200 grams oh, of protein. My this is when I go to the this gym every single really day a week. I am going. I'm going to grab your arm, and if it doesn't feel like your elbow is about to break, then I will feel like I've lost. <laughs> This dude is. Oh man, you're in for it now. You're in for it now. Over now. All right. All right. Bet. 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 Okay. 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 I'm increasing. I'm increasing my my reps now because of you. You know, this is good. This is healthy toxicity. This is healthy toxicity, <laughs> guys. Guys, yeah. remember the way to succeed in life: find a rival. Be like an anime oh. character who has a rival, because then you will only work harder, so that you can fuck <laughs> them twice as hard in the end. Or you can, like, do the whole, like, reach around technique and, like, you know, <laughs> dangle him. And, like, you are suddenly the one on the top and he's the one on the bottom, like, crying like a little bitch. And then you're going to feel like the most powerful fucker in the world. And all of a sudden, Vox Akuma is bottoming for a Demon Slayer. And do you, do you, it's easy clap, chat, it's easy are you, clap, are you like hearing, that. are you hearing no, how are you hearing hard, yourself, dude? are you and hearing like, how your hard money he's where your projecting mouth is, right now? Like, you got, no, I'm can not you even imagine? projecting, dude. It's, I'm, I'm, it's a reality, dude. Shoto, you're, you're, Shoto, you gotta, Shoto. you gotta hold up Shoto. to what you say, okay? 
okay Shut if up. you're gonna say like yo i'm gonna get as strong as you are even stronger then you better hold yourself up to it and then you gotta you know build yourself up to that expectation otherwise you're gonna fall flat and then all of a sudden you're not gonna be on the top anymore <laughs> Shoto? and then everything's gonna like crumble down and he's gonna crumble down and then and then what the show top agenda is here and the bottom agenda is now the next era for like the next five years because of this upset Shoto. i'm very passionate Shoto? yeah yeah what's up what's up, huh? hey, hey, yeah, yeah, babe. What's up, me, what's up babe? Give, give me give me just a minute give me just a minute mm -hmm. You can flustered? You, you... Was that too much for you? Oh, did I overload you? I'm so sorry. It was too much I for you to take you to in. I should have gone I slower. I asked you to My give bad. me a moment to speak, actually. Oh, okay. I was go going ahead. to talk to. <laughs> I was going to ask Chat. Have you ever <laughs> imagined someone? Do you think he like thinks about this regularly? Mm -mm. I've never heard a person project harder in my life. You have it's had, you've had wet dreams about whatever. this shit. You think whatever daily, like, God, I want to talk really to him. Oh, I want to talk him. But then you wake grandpa. up in the morning. Look. You wake up in the morning and you realize that it's never gonna fucking happen. Oh, you don't look, look, hey, like anything can happen. All right. You, you want to be that close minded? Oh, you better be ready. The fact that you're this close minded means you're not ready for it. And that's the most dangerous thing. The fact that you're not ready for what's about to happen and you're not prepared for the worst case scenario means that you're already set to fail if you don't, you know, pull it up as Shoto? much as I feel. Come Shoto, on, come on. You, you gotta come, need... pull it, pull it up. Pull I don't up. need to be ready for it, Shoto, because it's never going to happen. Oh, just you wait, sir. Just you wait. Just you this wait. Is, is, okay, you know, I will exactly, eagerly await. I will this eagerly, is exactly eagerly. How? When we have the opportunity of meeting in real life, I will await the opportunity for oh you to sit goodness. there and act like you're finally going to top me, and then I will finally, you know, maybe then, maybe then I will finally oh be like, God, wow, is, look at look at the potential in this boy. But to be honest, he's, right he's, now, he's in for it. Guys, I don't guys, see guys. it happening. Yo, I guys, realize, I don't see it happening. Yo, okay. Okay, everyone in chat right now, this is exactly how anime villains, like, you know, like, already foreshadowed their downfall. Like, they pretty much set the flag <laughs> for, like, their demise, right? Like, you know what I'm talking about? He's already set the flags. It's over. It's GG. This is free low. Easy money. No cap. Easy money! Easy money, dude. It's done. It's done. It's a, it's, it's, it's a wrap. Dude, he already like wrote his prophecy in stone. The moment he said it's never gonna happen, the moment he said it's never gonna happen, you know, he jinxed himself. It's done, dude. Watch. Okay, I'll see you in like a year from now. I'll see you in like a year. God, from you're now. so have that you're, you're God, you. you're so cute when you feel like you have a chance. Oh, you think you're so cute too when you think you have all the power over me every time. You know, you always have this top of it, dude. You, I know how flustered you can get too. All right, like it's not. Well, all, go on, try it then. It's not all dominant Vox go on, try agenda. Then. I see. Go on. It, dude, oh. I, go on, you're all talk, you're all talk. What, you what, you're acting go, like go, you can go, fluster. What? Do, do, do what? What do you what? want me to do? Huh? What? You're talking 24-7 about how much you can fluster me. Why don't you fucking do it then? Fluster you how? We've been like... Dude, and he doesn't know. We, I, he doesn't know. He doesn't have a, he doesn't have a fucking clue because he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's chatting out of his ass. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm, you're, you're, I'm chatting out of my ass, but what are you talking about, he's sir? He's talking I'm out always, of his ass. The, he's okay, all talking like, oh, just you, huh? just you wait. Just you wait for the moment I get to finally fluster you. You're never gonna know. And then I actually ask him to do it, and he's not... He doesn't know what the fuck he's gonna do. still do it. It never used to happen. Go ahead. Go ahead and try. Give it your best shot. Give me your best shot. Good, do it. Do it. I honestly, I was talking over the entire time. What the fuck did you say? Oh, I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I said just go and do it. Just try and fluster me now, like you think you can, as usual. Hey, I never, I never, I never said I felt yeah, like I needed to prove that. We have, we have about twelve different vods of me flustering you constantly, but you have oh, never that, once. Oh, that's, that's you have history, never once brother. managed to get that's me. That's history, brother. That's for content. Of course, that's, that's for his, Come that's on. history. Is it? Let me, Come let me, on. let me, let me look on my channel. When was the last time we collabed? When was the last time we collabed? Elden Ring. Elden Ring. When chat? Can you can you give me can can you give me like you one of the you were talking about one the gentleman's the, cheese? The gentleman's of course, that's gonna fluster me. That's nothing to do directly with myself. That's more directly to do with just a concept because you're a fucking cringe. <laughs> what does that have to do with me, bro? Come on, be come on, be a little bit more realistic, Vox. Pull pull a bigger straw at this point. What is that? That's a reach, man. Give give me something more. What's the last time we actually collabed? Huh? If gentleman's cheese is all it takes to get you flustered, then I'm afraid I'm, I might have already won. 
I am more flustered for my community rather than for towards you. I think you're trying to like flip the narrative here and try to like work it into your advantage. That's not what this is, brother. This is just that you are just being a, a, a weirdo. I'm a weirdo too, but like you're just being a weirdo. That's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it is man come on like like come on be a little bit more realistic dude hey 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 last time we actually collabed was like what the uh the the um the edits keep talking or and nobody explodes right and that, you and one? you asked what the color of the red wire was right okay shut the fuck up look look, look that was uh, look, look. hey guys 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 hey fucking listen listen here and that was an accident okay i was under a lot of stress you, you you're a motherfucker for being this up by the way yeah i was under a lot of stress a lot of pressure and i was really feeling the the stress like the, the the immense amount of responsibility to giving you the right answer okay when everything gets to you you end up fucking up a few times okay and i somehow misinterpreted the color red when it was in the actual word itself by accident okay this is this is an honest mistake it happens this is no way in connection to me getting flustered by you look so smug by the way shut the fuck up i'm gonna slap you across the counter why do you look so smug for it huh why do you keep smiling sir huh? because because you i have never i have never in my mm -hmm. life heard more just aggressive bottom rambling from you this ain't even bottom for anything dude. and he I'm just goes just off you. again i said I one sentence and he's so upset oh, about my it god you are per you are such a bastard you this is like what do you think this is all it is huh? am i now am i a bastard all right, fair yes, enough. Yes, you are. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. You can, you can call. Ugly bastard Vox. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Mister. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm gonna take another drink of vodka. Yeah, you take, you take a drink, and you know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be brave. I, I actually, will. I actually have to, um, I have to go, I have to go take a, take a whiz. So I'm gonna be right back. But uh, I'm leaving you in. I'm leaving my chat. Oh, excuse oh. me. Oh. I'm leaving oh. my chat in your okay. very capable hands. So guys. I expect you to update me on anything that this motherfucker says while I'm gone, okay? So I will see uh -huh. you all in just a minute. I hope that you guys, I hope that you guys uh -huh. let me know. All right, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. take your time. Take your time. Taking a big old whiz, you British bastard. Okay, see you soon. Anyways, hi guys, how's it going? I'm a little inebriated right now. I know, like, you guys, some of you are here only for Vox, but hey, you're stuck with me now. I'm sorry. Or like you're welcome. I don't know. <laughs> Hi everybody. How's it going? You're cute. Oh no, you're you're cute. Are you drunk? Yeah, yeah. You bet your ass I'm drunk. Oh, you heard his door open. <laughs> Did we get to hear him piss? Imagine like he 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 didn't mute. So like I think we might be able to hear him piss in the toilet, right? I'm a talkative drunk. I think I'm just very. I'm very. <sighs> How do I put it? I'm more outspoken. Yeah, like your inhibitions are low. You want to talk a little bit more. I'm just keeping it real with everybody, okay? As much as I love Vox, all right? As much as he like is like, you know, a very, he's very cool. I, I think like he needs to get like, get a hold of himself and understand like, yo, this dominant agenda, it's not gonna last forever, man. It's not gonna last forever. You're gonna be taken off your like high horse in like uh, some sometime soon. You're gonna realize like, hey, you're gonna you're gonna be whimpering at the at the very bottom, head into the pillow, into the sheets, biting the pillow, whatever it is. I don't know. Ass in the air. Oh, what am I talking about again? Right. I mean, Vox. Yeah, Va he. What the fuck? Oh my god, I actually forgot, dude. Oh my god, this is so bad. I've never been. <laughs> Hold on, wait, chat, chat. What was I talking about again? <laughs> Something about Vox being. Uh, I'm buffering. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, I I love him. I love the dude. He's great. He's great. All right. He's 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 awesome. The bottom, yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna see, like, in a year from now, he's gonna be very, very under my, 
my holds. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, dude. <laughs> it's gonna be like putty in my hands. Yeah, sure, why not? He's watching the stream from his phone. He's watching the stream from his phone. Do you hear that? Oh my god. I can hear I can hear my voice from his phone. He, he went to the bathroom listening to the stream. This motherfucker. You think you're slick? You think you're fucking slick? I hear you. Welcome back. Hey. Hey, uh -huh. man. Hey, I heard that. I heard that. I'm you couldn't be, get it out I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be what now? I'm gonna be you're, quivering, you're gonna be like I'm gonna be quivering hand, with my ass in the air? Is that true? Yes, yes, that's as as the as the that is the prediction that's gonna happen in like what a year from now. Dude, it's, well, it's, it's done. Well, we'll see. It's, yeah, we'll see. We'll we'll fucking see, bro. <laughs> Show top agenda. This man is so. This man is so convicted. This man oh, is so convinced. I've never. Been this tipsy before someone helped. <laughs> 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 I should drink more water, right? Is that anything? I may have to drink more water. Yeah. Um. I mean, yeah. If you want to avoid a hangover, you definitely got to drink some water. Oh, dude, you want to know something? I got to go out with my family at four o'clock to go to like a Brazilian buffet or something like that. And you're going to do so place. like completely sloshed. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not going to go. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. I'm falling over. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Like, um, I'm, I'm like, oh, fuck me. I, oh, oh shit. Take your time. Oh, oh. I what, what's happening? Hey, hey, sorry, sorry about that. Um, I oh my, I can't think, man. I can't think. What's happening? Is this what it's like to get like pissed drunk? Oh shit! Have you have you have you never really been there before? No, I don't think I have. Damn. I don't think I have, man. Well, should I take another swig? Oh, I uh, make sure make sure you're taking care of yourself. Make sure you're drinking water and all. Uh huh. That, I will. I will. Oh. We should sing a song together. You want to sing a song? Oh my god, we okay. should. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, I would do that. What song are you Which song do you want to do? Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, hey, hey, chat. Hey, yo. What song do you guys want to hear us sing with one another? And like, like, acapella this shit. Huh? <clears throat> Fly me to the moon? <laughs> sure. You want to do Fly me to the moon? All right, sure. So the thing the thing with Fly me to the moon is that what you, the thing with singing over Discord is what you're going to wind up with is like a bunch of delay. <laughs> That's the best part. That's the best. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay, okay, okay. So. Okay. All right, let me. Ooh, you want me to start? I'll start because you're such a like, dude. I think it's time to make you realize, like, I'm the mm -hmm. one that's gonna be taking charge from now. Okay, are you ready? Ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let, let me know me what spring is like on <laughs> Jupiter and Mars. In you know the words, please be true, oh, whatever what? it is. That's, 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 that's the first verse, you fucking <laughs> idiot. In other words, baby, baby kiss, kiss me. me. Fill my, my heart, heart with, song. with song, let, let me, me sing, sing forevermore. Yeah. You are, you are all, all I long for, all I worship and adore, and adore. In, in all the words, <laughs> please be, be true, in, in all the words, words. oh my. Let me play, play 
among the stars. Let me Let see me what spring what is like, is like on, on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me. Okay, 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 okay. I'm <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, the I, way, I, I the way, the way, the way it ends is the way it ends is. In other words, in other words, I, I love, love bum, you. Bum. It goes, it goes. I love bum, bum, you, you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I love. Like it's very Sinatra. Goes, I love, yeah. I love that song so much. This is very good, yeah. You know, I, I think it's the right time. To, I think it's the right time to spoil it. And I'm still working, so my the karaoke I'm going to do, which was going to be for a million subscribers, which might not take place for a while. We're working on a lot of different assets to like make it special. Mm -hmm. I uh -huh. am going to sing more Frank Sinatra when it gets there. It won't be Let's flying me. It won't be flying me to the moon again. That one that's like New York, New York. No, actually, no, actually, not what that one. But uh, I, I won't. I won't say. I will say that it is more Frank Sinatra, and you got to be ready for it. Oh man. Dude, this is like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling, by the way? So, I never knew that you uh, weren't the kind of person who gets pissed drunk on the regular. I drank my whole, like, mini bottle. So, I have, like, a, I bought a pack of champagne and it comes in these mini bottles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I drank the entire mini bottle. I don't know how much alcohol that is, but. Um, I drank all of it. Um, how much hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, that. Like that that's like 35% ABV, like in a small bottle of that. Oh, that's that's a lot of alcohol. Fair enough. Oh, should I stop now? I should stop now, right? I mean, you don't need to. It depends on what your personal limit is. Like, if you're feeling oh, superly, duperly, whooply drunk. I am feeling like I'm on top of the world, baby. I'm feeling... <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling great, man. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, I see people donating to me in my Twitch channel for this, too. Thank you so much. <laughs> Even though I'm not, like, streaming this, I appreciate people that are also, like, you know, supporting mm. me on, on like, my end. That's sweet. really sweet. Yeah. Man, people are so sweet, man. The, the community is mm. so sweet sometimes like that. It's, so, it's, it's, so it's difficult to get your head around how much, the, how much kindness can happen. But anyway, we are about 90 minutes into the show. And so I, what I'd like oh, to do is... Oh, let's keep going. Yeah, of course. No, no, no. I, that's, I, I wasn't going to suggest we end. What I was going to say is why don't you and I take a, take a little walk around the bar. We can have a sit down together. And what we can do is maybe look through some questions that people have submitted. Oh, yeah, right. That? Questions. Right. I forgot about the questions, dude. I almost forgot. Dude, that was the part of the segment. Wasn't yeah. Just the no, no. Okay, I like I like bad. the intro where we had a little ramble. But anyway, <laughs> let's go have a sit down. I've got some food, mm. some liquor, so we can have a little bit of a chat together. Hold on. And... Wait, wait. Hey, Vox, Vox. Hey, can, you, can you give me a kiss? Why don't you beg for it? No. All right. You're not well, oh, my then. God. I just realized we're on a fucking couch. Wait, what is that? What is that on the table? Is that like, is that like a charcuterie board? Yeah, it's a little snack book. It's a little snack book. Oh, thank you. Hold on. Okay, fine. Mm. Mm. Thank you. He, thank could, you. he just couldn't resist. He couldn't resist. He just couldn't resist. All right. Let's I have a look at some questions. Get one, get one motherfucker, shut up. Shut up. You're <laughs> acting like this is like you're, you're so powerful. After one, man, this is you you're so you're so dumb. Okay. Anyways, I'll just I'll let oh, you I'll, you I'll let you finish. I'll let you finish. I don't even know what what was I finishing? <laughs> Why am I so short? Why am I so short? Make me bigger. I look so tiny. Dude, come on. You're going to feed it in to fan artists like like this amalgamation in their mind. Like I'm so much shorter than you. I'm only like five centimeters shorter. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, thank you. Thank no, you. no worries. Yeah. All right. Are you, are you comfortable with that? You're a bastard. You're, 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 a you're a fucking horror. You're a degenerate. You're you're like you're like a sick motherfucker. Yeah, I think you, you eat shit and die. I don't know why you want to keep pushing me. Like I'm an ad. He's a little parrot on my I'm shoulder. I'm not that tiny. Yeah, Make me are. bigger. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Make me bigger. Make why, me bigger. Why, 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 why are you, why are you called? Why, 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 why do they call you shorter if that's the case? Mm. 
Oh, that's your fault. That's your fault, man. I'm not. I'm only like five centimeters smaller. Come on, man. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Hey, a little bigger. A little bigger. Give me some more size. Come on. A little bit more. A, a little, little bigger? More. I mean, you want to check out oh. something bigger down here or like... Oh, I will do. I'll do it. I'll fuck. You don't think I will? I've got. I've got a bite on it. He's dead. He's dead, guys. I'm gonna kill him. All right, good. All right, good. I'm gonna bleed out. I'm gonna bleed out. All of the oh, all of the, all the blood in my cock is gonna is gonna bleed out of me, and I'll die finally. Uh, he's uh, he's gonna uh, fucking die. He's he's finally dead. I'm killing. This is demon slaying 101, guys. Step one: bite his cock. Ooh. Step two: let him bleed out and and suffer. Step three: What are you doing with me? Why are you dealing with me? I'm throwing. I'm, I'm throwing. I'm, I'm. I'm passing you around. Anyway. Stop. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyways. All um, right. So oh, questions. Yeah. For anyone questions. who is interested in submitting a question, you can use on Twitter the hashtag under the table, and you can submit us a question. We have quite a few that have already been submitted since last night that we'll tackle originally. But there's always a chance if you guys want to ask Shoto or I a question, then you can always use the hashtag, and we will check it out. Uh, or we, we may or may not check it out. There's a lot of questions and we'll get to as many of them as we can. So, I'm looking through the hashtag right now. Uh, just to, just gonna see if there's anything that looks remotely interesting. And you are welcome to do this, do so the same, my friend, if you would like to ask me a question as well. Oh no, I'm trending. Why am I trending? Okay, <laughs> okay. okay I like, let's I, look I, at the hashtag. I like, I like, I like, I like this one. You each have 30 seconds to make the other cringe. <clears throat> you have 30 seconds to make the other... Uh, what'd you say? You have 30 seconds to make the other cringe. I'll get a timer. I'll get a timer. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um... <clears throat> hey... Are you in the new boy? <laughs> I thought so. I... I've never seen you before. Konnichiwa. I'm Shoto-kun. It's so nice to finally meet you. You look just like my wife. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm so sorry about the jerks in class. They're all baka, and they only know one one thing. Not me. I just like to watch my favorite anime, Jujutsu Kaisen, and, and watch manga. Also, I think you're really cool, Destiny. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just nervous, okay? It's just, well, it's just, I just want to know if I could suck on your nipples, okay? Well, what do you say? Uh -huh. Was that enough? Was that your best shot? If that didn't make you cringe, I'm just certain at this point. I've done it, my. I've done that for Twitter myself. Yeah, but you gotta before. like listening to it is so much different. Come on, dude. Like listening to it is a lot more different. I listen. I like listen. It. I listened to it, and I was like, "It's just David Kun, you know." We've heard it all before. Here's my attempt, right? And I'm not gonna okay, go ahead, and go I'm ahead. not gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk to chat. Okay. I'm gonna okay, talk to go the ahead, Kendra. Go I'm ahead, talk go to ahead. Make the cringe. Go ahead. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Thirty, here we go. 30, 30 give seconds. Give me your best right? shot. All right. Give me your best shot, demon. Chat. I'd like you to remember that no matter what you see of Shoto on stream or on Twitter or anything, he is and always will be just a normal boy slash man. This man has dealt with every health issue that a normal man normally deals with. I'd like to remind you that no matter what? how disgusting you find it, there will be a point when Shoto has woken up one morning and he has found a solid ring of the gentleman's cheese upon his penis. And there is nothing that you can do that will make that untrue. Okay. Is that the best you got? Yeah, that's the best I got. You know, I've already, I've already seen it. I've already, seen, I've already heard too much... Fair enough. Jeez. Fair enough. It is a. It is a. It is a you, you foregone tried, conclusion. You tried. It is a foregone yeah. conclusion that Shoto is familiar with the gentleman's cheese. Mm-hmm. That, that was your best shot for real, sir. Damn, you kind of weak. Kind of pulling up weak and flat. Why you were calling me weak after your attempt? All right. I mean, he's, uh, go, he's going. He's going. Right. Mine was a little bit better, at least. I don't know. I try to be. As, I mean, you as read. You read Shoto. I, I came up with something that kind of. I came up with something new. You. Joke. You pulled the same old joke as usual. I think that's a little. 
I think that's a little... When you say I pulled the same old joke as usual and then you read a script which everyone and their mother has been reading for the past week and a half. I've never done it before in front of you. It's not the same old joke, bro. It is the same old joke. Everyone and their mum has been doing that on Twitter for the past week. It ain't that It ain't that big of a deal. But anyway, thank you very much to at Bilbo Draws on Twitter for that lovely, lovely question. Bilbo. I'm going on an adventure! Oh my god, dude, I'm so lost right now. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm looking at the corner of my room and like it's like it's like I'm doing backflips. Like I feel so powerful right now. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so oh glad that you have this much <laughs> power now. <laughs> Do you have from oh, the hashtag? No. Can you see any questions that you may want to oh, ask? Oh right, me what was it under the table? You, hashtag you under the what? table. Yeah, I thought you named it that because it's like, oh, haha, ha, suck dick under the table. I mean, are, no, are, are you, I mean, you're the it, one who's project, you're, you're the one who's projecting. The are you wanting to? Are you wanting to get a little bit of action in? I never project. Shut the fuck up, dude. You're so dumb. No, that's not it, dude. Come on. Okay. Oh my god, I just. Uh, what was this question? Let me see. Shoto, you don't have to hide it. Which one of Vox's ASMRs is your favorite? We need to know for scientific purposes. I'm talking like chills. Number 15. <laughs> Number 15. Vox's ASMR. Words. If you watch more than five of Vox's what? ASMR, you will come. Vox's ASMRs. <laughs> I Number don't, 15. I don't, okay, I'm going to be honest, dude. I don't really watch asmrs because it's not something that hits with me mm. because it's like it's like it's a personal preference right i don't really watch asmr streams because it's like it, it's like all about triggers and stuff like that i just i do tune in from time to time just to be like hey is he doing well oh he's doing pretty good hey good you winning you winning buddy you winning brother hey you good you're winning i'm proud of you Mwah. okay good, good you. luck keep winning champ Keep winning. Keep, I will, keep, uh, and uh, I kind of agree with you because even though I make ASMR, it's probably the most popular piece of content on my channel. I I don't watch it myself. Like it's just not something that really appeals to me. I like um, I like NSFW audio. Like I like sort of there's the that like I like when you can find someone who's recorded like a sort of a a, a sort of a, a you know a not safe work scenario. And you can listen mm -hmm. to it. Like, I think that's yeah. where I get most of my inspiration for ASMR. But when it comes to actual ASMR, like triggers, you know, like brushing, ear blowing, I don't really go for that, to be honest. That's not really my thing. You're inspiring to so many people. You know that? Thank hey, you. You should, you should give yourself more credit, man. I think you're a wonderful person. And it's just like, uh, wait, why am I being soft right now? Hold on. <laughs> I think you're a Question. wonderful person. And thank you. I don't know what about what I just said kind of inspired that i guess that must have been know, building up too. in you for a little while and you felt like you needed to tell me but that's fine yeah oh yeah is vox still your vtuber crush or is that changed to a different person or uh Shit. so like yeah i think people know about this but like at first like first month i was like dude this dude's so fucking like he talks so much about like fnaf lore <laughs> and like like nerds out like i like that and it's just like dude this is like so funny i was like yo it's pretty cool like he can uh he can just like you know just nerd out like that on stream it's just like so like you know into his like you know i think that's my favorite part about vox like my favorite part about him is that he can nerd out about something he's passionate about and i can listen to it because it's just like so cute and it's like so nice to listen to like he talks about fnaf and like the mechanics of the game or like the lore of the game or like he talks about fucking star wars for, for whatever reason even though i don't even care about star wars that much i'm sorry star wars fans I really you will have to, you will if you but, talk like, to me about it you'll You'll, you'll, okay. you'll be invested anyways, or else you'll die. But oh, yeah, anyways, like, I like that aspect of him. Like, he's passionate mm. about, like, the things that he talks about. He can talk about it. Like, I like hearing people talk about the things that they're interested in. Like, no matter if it's Vox or, like, a friend of mine, like, like anybody else that wants to, like, you know, just go crazy with whatever they want to talk i'm very open ears and i just like respect the fact that they care so much about the things that they, they that they like that, that they like and 
it, it makes me so happy. It's like, hey, you really like that, don't you? I'm very glad that you got to share that thing that you like about so much with me. And I'm very happy that you took the time to like, you know, share that with me too. It's like, it's very sweet. It goes a long way. Like when he talks about that guy thing with you guys on stream, hey, hey, don't take it for granted, okay? Because it's very, it's, it's a very sweet thing. It's so adorable and so personal. Like getting to share like something you love so much with the people you care about. Like, even if it's just something nerdy like that, it goes so long, it's such a long way, and it's so cute. And, like, man, it means, like, they really care about you, okay? So, hey, don't take it for granted, guys. Don't take it for granted, man. Uh, but, yeah, um, it's, what was I talking about? VTuber crushes, yeah. Uh, I don't, honestly, I feel like at this point, he's not, like, more of, like, a crush. He's more, like, a part of, like, you know, he's, like, we're more than that. <laughs> I guess we are, yeah. It's it, it'd it'll feel odd after that. all we've done together yeah. for you to call me just like, a that crush. Was the, that was like before we even collabed too. So like now I know a little bit more about you. But like you know my my. I remember I, um, I watched that clip of you mentioning and saying like, oh yeah, no, he's this is my VTuber like friend crush, and I watched it. I was like, yeah, it's a friend crush. Aww. There's nothing, guys. There's a there's Aww. a friend crush and there's an actual crush. Okay, having a friend crush is different from like having a having a romantic crush. Okay, having a friend crush is totally normal. It's just like, oh damn, you really like hanging out with this person. Hey, then you want to hang out with them and talk to them more, right? That's that's just how it is. Like having friend crushes is normal. I've had many friend crushes in the past, and I still do. Right? It changes so much. And that's the beauty of it and it's like you want to blossom that friendship even more and then you can become even better friends after that and you it's just like uh, bro uh, talking about, like touching grass and talking with people like that is so great and vox has quickly became somebody i care about deeply and want to see like succeed so much more in the future because he's a wonderful person okay Thank but you. like if we're talking about uh vtuber crushes i think right now i don't know if i have one maybe okay okay like uh not to like ntr you or anything like that mm -hmm. but like right now it's probably ren ren zoto because, oh i like, don't blame you i don't blame you i kind of feel like, the same way <laughs> like like dude he has a lot of the same like nerd qualities that i have like he's into like a lot of the things i like about music like the fact that he's into music too as like dude i love music so much and the way he talks about like is so nice and he he's very passionate about like you know his love for music too i'm just like dude and this song you wrote is so good too and the dude's like mm. living in the 2000s he loves owl city like i love owl city you I would not really believe your it. eyes if 10, ten million fireflies, fireflies lit up the world, the world like fell asleep. Asleep. that song yeah, makes me very like, emotional no he he's an he's an insane talent and i feel really like niji sanji they always know how to pick them like every one of the new members yeah, is man, really really talented right. and <laughs> like i can't wait to collab with all of them honestly yeah like i hope maybe one day i'll get to uh, also play something with him too but that's like i don't know anytime it happens like i'm not i'm not very particular about it like anytime they're ready but like hey he's a great person and like i like his music i like his uh i don't know he gives me i don't even feel like it's like a horny thing it's more like yo he's a cool dude he feels like a big brother to me like if anything like i i want to push this out there like ren zolto is like sh my big brother i see him as like you know he's like my big bro he's like hey yeah. yo what's up big bro yeah well, you want to go gonna, out you're gonna stuff? you're gonna go out of your way and you're gonna do something well and he'll toss you your hair and be like hey good job and you'll be like you'll... oh good job yeah i i kind of want like he's like oh hey, good job Shoto. and like we go to an arcade together and you'll be like oh and, like he wins like arcade uh prizes for me i was like hey big bro can you get this prize for me please thank you oh thank you so much I'm like, yeah. like that type of shit like he's just he's just like big big brother energy to me okay oh yeah and that's all and he's really cool so if like if i have a crush like crushes come and go right like so if i had to answer that yeah it's probably him right now and also like yo he's a he's a cool alien he's a cool alien dude <laughs> i like aliens a that lot he is and he makes very good music i have to say and he's also good at smash i think um we've played we we, we played right before he debuted we played smash together and he he and i are like pretty much on the exact same level like it was pretty much just blow for Dude, blow he's like a one smash for one gamer get me in that shit oh wait no, yeah wait, 
You need to jump on Smash with me more often. I feel like that's like a game that we could, I need to get we could better, enjoy offline a lot more Like I know well. there's like restrictions and stuff because like we can't really, but like at the same time, like we maybe offline, right? Like offline. Offline, I would love to play more Smash because every time to do that, like, I get dude. so much Smash content recommended on YouTube, and every time I watch it, I'm like, I want to play Smash. I want to play Smash. I want to play Smash. Like I want to get into games like Valorant and shit because that's what everyone is playing. But Smash is where my heart I'm lies. So, you know? Yeah. Like I'm so proud of you for a game like as far as you did Valorant. Like I'm really proud. Of you for uh you know like you. Uh, like learning you're taking the effort to learn like i think that goes for anybody like whether you're vox or not vox like if you're just in the chat like if you take the effort to learn something like that like a valorant because you want to play with your friends that, that's so sweet like i was like oh dude he wants to play valorant with us because he wants to like you know hop con more often and like you know get better at the game that's so cute like, i'm willing to teach you and like i'm willing to like you know help you a little bit more if you want to like play more valorant with us and stuff i'd love like to that. play more I mean, like like i don't mind like it's off stream or on stream like not everything has to be about content and stuff like i know people mm. want to watch that shit but still like hey i'm down to anytime like play smash or valorant or whatever just like i think again it's mm. one of the hardest things about this job because mm. like i don't think any of us have ever stopped wanting I, I don't think any of us have ever stopped being the kind of person who goes into this career wanting to just interact with people they look up to. But then you hit a point where you're working so hard that playing games offline, like you have so little time to do it in, you know? And I think this it's a re genuinely kind of like a magical feeling when someone who is also busy, you're busy, and then it's like, yo, do you just wanna play a game? And then you get to just kind of like relax. You don't have to worry about making content. You don't have to worry about cracking jokes every five seconds. You just play the game and you just yeah. hang out with someone who you can now consider like an actual friend. It's rare, but it's really, yeah, really man. beautiful. It's so nice to just like not have to worry about it. You just want to play with them and have a good time. And that's all it is. And that's it's like, all hey, it is. I take yeah. every moment I get to hang out with you guys as much as I can. And it means a lot. It really does mean a lot when you guys take the time of your day out of like anybody's busy schedule to like just say, hey, give me the time of day. It goes a long way, man. It goes such a long way. I, I, I never I, take it yeah. for granted. Anytime, anytime that you feel like you want to play a game offline, I will, I will do my best. And it's difficult as well because of time zones. Because I'm in, I'm in EU. You know, I'm in the UK. And yeah, dude, time zones a bitch. Yeah, yeah man. A, bitch. a lot of the time, it makes me think like, should I just live on an NA time zone? Should I just like? Should I should I just stay up until <laughs> NA people go to sleep and then and then go, and 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 then go to sleep uh, when NA people do and wake up when they when they do as well so that I don't have to w worry about it so much and hang out with people more often. But then the sunlight it's bad for your circadian rhythm and then you know you get unhealthy and it's like fuck man I just want to hang your, out with people. Your what rhythm? What the fuck did the you just say? The circadian rhythm. The circadian Circadian your rhythm. circadian rhythm it is yeah the, i believe it is to it is to do with the amount that your body and your skin is exposed to the sunlight and that informs your brain on when you should and should not be sleeping right so yeah uh -huh. it is essentially something that we evolved during ancient times because the, i know i know dude i took i took science class well you're acting before. like you yeah, have you're no cute. fucking idea you're I like know. the I just circadian rhythm it, i was like all right like, <laughs> Explain it. You're you're adorable when you talk about these kinds of things. You know that it's it's just cute. I, like I ain't that. know shit about the circadian rhythm. I just know that uh, it's what happens when you don't when, when you when you don't go out very often. Your friends are like, "Hey, your circadian rhythm's out of whack," and I'm like, "Yeah, I know, I know." Uh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little, oh my god, I'm so tipsy right now, dude. I think this is the most I've ever been tipsy before on a show. Really? Like ever. Yeah, like honestly, like I don't, it feels, it feels so weird, but I feel still kind of in control, but it's like at that borderline of about, like I'm still good, I'm still good, like mm. I'm still in control. In a way. Right. Like, Hold on, uh, I'm actually completely fresh out of beer, but I have five more in my fridge, so I'm gonna go grab those. I'm also. Oh my I'm, god, you didn't just drink five beers. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I feel. Beers. Yep, yeah, I did. I'm gonna quickly pop off. I'm gonna go grab. I'm gonna go to the bar. Okay. I'm gonna grab some more. So you, I'm gonna leave my chat and your capable hands. All right, so sounds don't good, man. Stupid. I, I'll see you, you in a second. My, okay? Your chat will be in good hands. Don't worry. Mm. Mm. 
So guys, I'm gonna sing you a little song right now. I think it would be kind of fun to uh, share with everybody. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind, wanting to start again? Do you ever feel this so paper thin, like a house of cards, one blow from caving in? Do you ever feel already buried deep? Six feet on the street, but no one seems to hear a thing. Do you know that there's still a chance for you? Cause there's a spark in you. You, you just, just gotta, gotta ignite, ignite the light, light and, and let, let it shine. shine. Just, just on the night, the night like the fourth of July. Shine. You're gonna and leave him on, uh, 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I heard you singing and I had to come back. I still have to get more back. Oh, we'll be right back. dude, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back. Okay, okay. Oh, yo, I'm losing my mind right now, but it's just pretty good. It's a pretty good time. It's a pretty good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey, just for everybody that knows out there, I... <laughs> I uh I really do appreciate Vox, okay? We're good friends, all right? Don't get me wrong. Like, I know there's people out there that want to troll, that want to cause trouble in both of our communities and stuff like that, but just know we're good friends, okay? I care about him a lot, and he cares about me a lot. It's not that deep when we make mistakes sometimes. People make mistakes, okay? Like, hey, once you get over that, like, one-inch barrier, that understanding, like, people make mistakes sometimes, you're gonna open yourself up to so much more and, like, know, like, hey, this is just how friendships are. People make mistakes sometimes, and we're good friends. I, I love him a lot. He's he's a good dude, and I love getting to play games with him. I love getting to talk with him anytime I can. And he's he means a lot to me, okay? The, the dude means a lot to me, so... Just don't cause him too much trouble. And, hey, I hope, like... I know there's, like... If there's other kindred around that, like, might not like me too much, I hope you understand, too. Like, I'm not... I'm not here to like cause any trouble. I'm I'm just the person, all right. I like you guys too, and I hope like. <laughs> I like, yeah. I I I know. Like, hey, I, I, you guys are cool too, probably. It's just, hey, look, I uh. I'm I'm very patient, and I love. <clears throat> oh. oh. Mhm. Mm yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm there's so much, there's like an overwhelming amount of good people in each of our communities that- like, I was muted the whole up. time, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Vox is muted, Lamau. Listen, I'm five oh. beers deep, leave me alone. Okay. Uh, ugh. Ooh. I care about both of our communities, honestly, because like, mm. hey, the Mal we get to collab- I feel like I've collabed more with you. I have with- Anybody else will like, hey, like, I do care about both of our communities a lot. And I just mm. hope, like, hey, like, I know you don't have to like me, but hey, like, hey, don't make it hard for Vox, guys, okay? The biggest no thing that I would say, make it hard for Vox. The, the biggest thing that I felt <laughs> and the biggest thing that I would say is that there are some people who will <sighs> resort to what feels like hate and, uh, you know, discourse and bickering <laughs> when what they want to do is protect their own community. And what I'm going to say is, guys, arguing with each other only generally kind of makes it worse. And I think for us, mm -hmm. you know, we want a community that feels like it's 
warm and it's happy and that everyone has a good time when they're interacting with each other and sometimes you guys might have a reason to sort of cuss each other out you know but there's never really a reason for that when you have the opportunity to yell at somebody when you have the opportunity to make someone feel sad for what they've done just mm -hmm. take a look at yourself and step back and remember that this community will live on and it will be a happy place to be no matter what people do to it because Sho and I are going to work hard on making this community what it needs to be. You know, his community, mm -hmm. my community, and the the lo those of you who, what what do they call kindred and guildies like uh, the the the, the kindies or like the or like the, the guild kindies. or like the or like the guildred or whatever they call them. <laughs> yeah, the, you know, That's... it's gonna be it's gonna be okay, and I think we will get okay faster yeah. if you guys can just take a step yeah, well, back like from how before. tempting it is from how tempting it is to engage with drama and how tempting it is to engage mm -hmm. in discourse and argue with people. Things will improve faster if haters just scream into a corner for a while and then you let Again, them live let them you know just let them let them knows. piss in a corner yeah. and then no one will talk to them and they'll get mad yeah. and, pit and Guys, explode like, you know we do not claim any of those people vox mm. doesn't claim the toxic ones i don't claim the toxic ones nobody in luxium nobody in easy nobody in the indie scene nobody in the v tier community ever likes the people that want to cause trouble like you are it's it's just not good like nobody wants to see that nobody likes that you make us sad you make your your favorite streamers sad it doesn't make anybody happy guys just know that okay like hey i'm not happy when people do that i don't think vox is ever happy just hey just understand like you actively hurt the people you i you care about the most so mm -hmm. take those and that steps was the um, towards like you know mm -hmm. sabotaging other people that we care about too right it was the biggest thing that happened you know mm -hmm. when uh, when i had my you know the really unfortunate controversy after my boyfriend asmr and people were being really mean to, <clears throat> to remu who is like still one of my best friends <laughs> Yeah, Remu's great. Go An incredible Remu. person, She's so, so funny good, and man. so hardworking. And there were people, the people who were giving her hate thought they were getting in my good books by like, what? Like sticking up for me and saying like, blah, blah, blah. No, by attacking my friends, you're only, you're, I do not claim you, you will never, you will friends? never have yeah. a chance at speaking with me or impressing <sighs> me if you ever decide to attack you will one of my never friends. make that's just like dude you don't make anyone happy you will never nobody is happy over like making like hurting our friends that's the last thing like you would ever want to do you hurt my friends it draws a lot you cross a line that shouldn't be crossed and then it's like oh we don't care about like those kinds of people that want to just hurt our friends because our friends are like the world to us our friends are my friends mean so much to me because like growing up in this community before i used to be a vtuber i used to be in, like a singing community but like just like those people that still carried on i mean the entire world to who i am and mm -hmm. how i grew it's just like they're so important man like friends go a long way friends are so important friends are like the like have your back and if you try to like just hurt them for a petty reason, right? Not even, it's just like, hey, why would you do that? Like, don't hurt them because they're just like, just normal human beings that are just, you know, make human mistakes. And like, hey, they're just like trying to be friends too. Like, don't do that, man. It, it makes me sad. It's, it makes me really sad to see. Makes Anytime me sad it happens. To see the, the hardest part of this, uh, of this job <laughs> is like, when, you work really really hard on and you become successful the amount of people who will make an effort to take advantage of your success is insurmountable there are so many people who don't care about you or who you are or what you stand for or what you've been through they want to get close to you because they want to grow themselves and so when you meet someone who is a genuine friend and someone who wants to support you at like, maybe they want to grow themselves, sure, whatever, but they also support you, they love you, they want to be there for you, they take their time out of their day to support, that is rare a lot of the times in this community. That's extremely rare. And when you as a fan, like 
think that by attacking that person that you're helping us? No, you couldn't be more wrong. You really could. I think this just applies to anybody. Like, it's just not just us. It's just like anybody. Dude, don't don't hurt people. Like, I I'll never understand that, dude. Why do people like want to hurt like you know somebody that just means so much to the people that they like like a lot? It's like if you're a fan of someone and you want to hurt someone that they, they care about, it's like aren't you being counterproductive? Right? Aren't you like you know you're like hurting the person that you like a lot by by like you know hurting someone that they care about a lot too? It doesn't make sense to me, man. It never, it'll never make sense to me. Why it's, are people so mean? It's really yeah. silly, like, just thinking that, but... Yeah, you know. People will always... F bad, ugly aunties will always be bad, ugly aunties, and they'll always need to take a shower and touch grass. And we will always be ourselves, we will always be thriving and growing and making money and being a ballers, and our fan, our nice fans will always be nice fans who support us and love us. And all we can do is ignore the shitty people, let them scream and piss and shit into a corner while we continue to love one another and grow and have fun and then eventually they will either learn the error of their ways or they'll get bored and I, I have faith. I, I, I don't know if this is like a bad... I have a lot of faith in people. I don't know if that's like a flaw, but I really do believe in the good in people's hearts because like i don't know if that's like a bad thing it's like hurt me in the past many too many times but i do know like there's good in everybody and i believe you can become a better person it might just take some more time whoever you are if you're watching right now if you're like hey you might be like somebody that like hates me or like hates fox trust me like i feel like maybe in a few years from now or like at some point you'll understand where we're coming from and you'll understand like it's not worth it to you know hold up all of that those that pent up hatred for no good reason at all when i've done nothing or when vox has done nothing and we've done nothing to each other it's just like hey man we're, we're friends and we care about each other and mm -hmm. there's no reason for you to hate us or the other and you never like, know you know. the depth of what is going on in a person's personal life when you follow them on the internet there is always more and by going online and trying to be, trying to claim yourself as a hero and saying, no, I'm sticking up for them. This person hates this person. You're not helping. You are only causing problems. And it hurts so much to see when someone is hurt by that. And when I see someone come to me with DMs saying, you know, I hate I can't stand seeing this much hate. I can't stand seeing this community talk about this and saying, oh, you shouldn't collab with this person. You shouldn't collab with that person. It is painful because when we get no into this should, job, yeah, we want, we do this not because we want to be rich or because we want to like have all of this, all this massive fan base. We do it because we love the job. We want to collab with people we look up to. And when it gets to a point where people will try to divide us, then what, you know, we then there comes a point where we, maybe we need to take a stand and we need to say, hey, we I need like, to change things, I, right? Yeah, I love being with my friends, guys, okay? Being an indie, it's pretty lonely, dude, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, I do have my friends too, but like, I'm not in the com I don't like have gen mates, dude. And that's okay. Like, I've talked about this before, but I, I, I'm happy as i am and i always want to be as i am but like i do like getting to play with my friends I, I, i'll never get tired of that and i love getting to be with vox i love getting to play with mista i love getting to play with bow anybody that like i feel like playing is just like that's a that's kind to me it's just hey they, they're good to me i like playing with them i'll play with them you know that's just that's the end of that's that that's the end of the story there's no nothing deeper than that i don't think there's anything deeper than just wanting to play with your friends and we're just, in like, it for fun, fun we're in it for fun yeah. the success is a side effect and it's something we'll foster and mm -hmm. something we'll work hard for but at the end of the day we're here because we love the people that we work with and we want them to be happy and that like, is the end of it yeah I think the biggest example I can make is like I play a lot with Saikuno recently and Saikuno is a great person I've looked at to him for the longest time right and it's just like hey he he loves playing with his friends too he loves playing with like OTV people he loves playing with anybody from like you know Dream DM SMP and it's just like hey he's a he's cool he's cool he just plays with whoever he wants and it's just like bro I wish I can like 
I, I just want people to understand like, hey, I just, I like playing with people that I care about. And I like playing with people that make me happy and I have a genuinely good time with. That's all. Mm. That's all I want to say. That's all I want to say. That is, a, just like... that is a great take. Guys, mm. we're all normal people. We want to have fun. We want to just play games and vibe and no matter how successful we no matter how successful we get that will never change mm -hmm. oh man dude i think i'm yo you know when you hit that like point where you're like all sleepy and like drunk yeah, yeah it's happening right now i mean i'm still good i'm still alcohol good, alcohol is like, a depressant it makes you tired That's it's a depressant it yeah it is a depressant like, it'll make you a little bit more like um like inhibit your 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 person a little bit more but i i still like it it's it's fun i have another question for you uh-huh do you have any boundaries on fan art from uh oh. at ua ua 1102 or ching on twitter what I is too like... far and what will make both of you feel uncomfortable <laughs> I feel like for me, in terms of like ship art though, as long as you tag it separately from my art tag, mm. that's okay. Like I feel like that's something that people don't get. It's like if you tag it separately from the from the um other tags, that's okay. Right? I'm okay with any ship art, right? As long as you tag it too with like any warnings too, like people so that people are aware because people not like might not want to see like certain content right like there there's like stuff that people don't vibe with and that's okay like some people don't like this stuff and some people don't like that stuff as long as you tag your posts and make sure people understand like hey this is uh you know this contains so and so content then just don't look at it right and just like tag it so people can avoid it properly and don't like you know see it on their timeline because it doesn't make them happy and I, i'm like an i'm an advocate for making sure like you know people are at the best of their abilities um able to like have a good experience on their timeline so hey if you don't want to see it then just make sure you tag it or if like you don't want to see it just like hey make sure you mute it right like mm -hmm. if you don't like our tag either just mute it right like if you don't have to be a fan of it just mute it it's it's just as simple as that. I think it's it's very simple, but people make a big deal out of it when when they see stuff that has to do with us and they just don't mute it or they just don't ignore it or just don't interact with it. It's just that easy. I feel like it's so much easier than people make it out to be. Just don't interact with it, man, or just don't acknowledge it and you'll be so much happier. And that's it. That's the end of the story. And yo, I think like sooner or later people will understand that concept but like um in terms of um fan art i'm okay with like almost anything just just tag it and just like make sure you keep it in its like appropriate tags like mm -hmm. art goes in my art tag not safe for work goes in my not safe for work tag i think that applies for everyone because sometimes i see not safe for work in my art tag and that's not okay right like you want to keep it separate like one thing is meant for the other and one thing is meant for it's like mutually exclusive like art is meant for the art tag and not safe for work is meant for the not safe for work tag and like ship art is meant for the ship tag like hey i know it's like a different vtuber culture and stuff like that and like but hey just make sure you follow those like every streamer's personal preference on that like it doesn't have to be like too stringent on like one streamer but just make sure hey you pay attention to uh to the people that you follow and want to support and like obey their uh, wishes, okay? To the best of your abilities. I agree but with you 100%. Like it differs for <sighs> every person and you should always ask or endeavor to find out what is okay and what is not. But I think for me and show both, anything goes as long as, as it is tagged appropriately. Like for me, uh, mm -hmm. the, you know, like, we, we both have our porn tags, you have Shonly fans, I have Akuma Sutra, <laughs> you know, which, by yeah. the way, by the way, you guys came up with that tag, and it's genius. Um, if it's there, I don't care what it is, no matter how kinky mm -hmm. or raunchy or disgusting it is, if it's there, that's its place, right? Tag it properly and make sure that it is not gonna wind up on the feed of someone <sighs> who doesn't want to see it. Because everyone, that's the way I feel about all, like, offensive or sexual content, is that no one needs, to, wants to be forced to watch it. And the way I feel about, like, our content, for example, is that you and you and I, we embrace, like, the the sexy side of things. We talk about, like, ridiculous okay too, yeah. kind of shit. And that's okay, but I think we have a reputation where everyone knows, and we always say, like, you know, like, to be honest, I feel like 
one of the reasons why I'm kind of interested in, in like making a Twitch at some point is because Twitch has the ability for you to add a little warning that says intended for mature audiences because I'm like I do not want to market myself to minors at all but YouTube doesn't really give you the ability to, yeah, to do that so outside of fully age restricting everything <laughs> that you make stream, you know for my stream like I have a warning that says intended for mature audiences and then they click accept and then they can watch the stream after that, right? Once they click accept, it's all on them, you know, at that point. The like responsibility is out of your hands. And yeah. I can't stand so. the people who give you shit. If you give everyone a warning, like in my, my ASMR, for example, like I've given plenty of warnings. Like I'm at a point where there is a physical warning on the screen in the transition it just says like this may contain 18 plus content if you continue it is at your own risk i cannot offer tr offer warnings for all triggers because this yeah. is improvised and all that kind of stuff so and still yeah you i know, wish youtube had that i wish youtube right? had that. but yeah. like, for twitch for twitch i have that ability to be like as as soon as you click that button that says accept then it's all on you to like you know once you watch the stream like i can't do anything after that like you acknowledge that you're uh mature enough to be watching my content and such so like that's all i have to say i wish youtube would add that something like that but oh my god i was about to burp <laughs> but yeah <laughs> but yeah um that's uh, that's like my my take on that like hey it's it's um it's uh it's a feature that everybody needs to understand it's like there's certain content versus other content that people shouldn't like view versus like should view like at a recommended or like at, at least like viewer discretion advised type of agenda right like at, it's just make sure like hey you're wise going forward all right i even have like i don't know i think you guys have it too but i have like a guideline for minors in my thing like, yeah we too we, we do as well yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so for hey. niji it kind of boils down to if you're a minor maybe don't <laughs> yeah like that's maybe don't that maybe like just think to like come on guys you know like i really whenever i get a super from someone it's like hey i'm 17 i'm like oh like maybe maybe don't watch my content please like yeah because for me i i always want to make content that is reflective mm. of myself as a person and i and you enjoy it too dude. exactly like, there's, no, there's no problem like for you to do it it's just like you know people should understand like hey this is like not meant for certain audiences just don't watch it don't watch just it just don't, don't watch it it's not for you there's an extent to which <laughs> i feel as though the responsibility is shared between both the streamer <laughs> and the parents of whoever is accessing it's this not, content. It's that easy if you right? don't like, like it. Like, just make sure you, just if you're a parent, it. make sure you know what your kids are watching. And if you're a streamer, make sure that you say clearly like, yo, do not watch this shit if you're a minor because my content is not for minors. I will be playing the most wholesome game imaginable like Donut County and then I will yeah, just launch I into like that. I will just launch into talking about my kinks out of nowhere <laughs> and that is what you guys See, like and I love it too, right? That's the thing. I make so much sussy jokes on my stream. You make so much sussy jokes too. I have that warning before every stream. If you follow me and choose to watch it, you click the thing that says, hey, this is intended for mature audiences, all right? And people will still get mad. They're like, oh, why are they like, you know, streaming and talking like this? Even when there's minors, are dude, you accepted it. That's not on me. That's on you at that point because you clicked accept. Like I did everything in my power to, unless you want me to put like rated 18 plus, go on site, I don't know for my, it's just like, hey, there's, a, there's so much, there's only so much we can do guys, okay? I'm gonna be real with you. There's only so much that people can do and like streamers can do before, before like, hey, like you click, you like mutually accept like before you watch it just know like this is not content that's made even this stream itself is not made for people that are like what 13 minors Dude, like, no i it. wouldn't want to no please no please no don't, don't please go and that. please go and watch like japseptikai or fucking snampy longhead or someone <laughs> instead yeah Top of the morning to you, laddie. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is Jack and welcome to you, back to Undertale. <laughs> dude, I love. I want to learn how to do a Welsh or Irish accent one day. Dude. Welsh it sounds like so. That's what's interesting about UK accents is that all of them are like weirdly very different, right? So like the thing is though, mm. I can do most of them, but I don't know how to teach it. Like 
Well, she's like well, 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 she's after very. After hearing Ronnie, well, after hearing Ronnie from Elden Ring. By the way, we gotta play more Elden Ring. Well, you do. I, but like, do, do, do. How, that, have you played I'm any just, Elden Ring? Have you played any Elden Ring since last? No, time? I haven't because I wanted to wait for you. Uh, Babe, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I I am down. I'm down to do like an entire day because I really want you to get to um get to the end of um Landell, like the, you know, the 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 the, the capital in uh, in Altus because the final because the boss there, you're going to lose your mind. Like I can't wait to see the way you react to the different parts of the game. Yeah, but I still need to get through Altus plateau and then because I'm in the city right now, right? Mm -hmm. But I still need to get through that. But uh, yeah, it's it's a grind, man. Like I don't know what our good farming locations. Uh, like I like yo, I need to find good farming locations to get my levels up because I'm like slacking on like levels at the moment. I got. No, nah, I think you're fine. Uh, I think you just need to get good. To be honest, like okay, from what fine, from what right. I know of Elden Ring and from my experience with it, I think that. Leveling in Elden Ring is difficult until you beat Radan. Once you've beaten Radan and you move on to um, Nokron and you move on to uh, Altus Plateau, like souls and rune or runes, whatever they are in that game, they're, they're so <laughs> souls to me, right? Runes come free and abundantly, and you need to just like go through the game, beat you bosses. So stupid. <laughs> you know, your British, your British accent. <laughs> souls. <laughs> Dude, like every time I hear you talking, I'm just like, oh, souls. Oh, bloody hell, I'm arriving. Oh, <laughs> oh bloody hell, I'm arriving. Oh, I'm gonna almond. Yeah. You're gonna almond? I'm gonna almond. I'm gonna cashew. <laughs> you just, I'm sorry, but every time I hear British as right now, I'm just like, you sound so stupid. The other day, like, I found a Twitter mm. account of someone who mm -hmm. was doing like cum uh -huh. tributes to all the different Niji Sanji members. You know? No! Yeah! No! Stop! What? Box! Stop! 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 Okay, okay, babe, 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 babe. No, 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 no. Might need to take a step back. Might need to take a step back. Listen, listen, listen. Your dick, your 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 dick is fantastic. Keep doing what you're doing, okay? How do you find this stuff? What? I don't know. I How just you... found it. It just turned How up. How do you find this stuff? Oh my god! Like I might be as you. Ooh, sheesh. Oh my god. Did you say what did you say? Come what? Come tribute. Have you ever heard What's of it? It's a cum tribute. So it's, so it's essentially like getting up an image of a Niji Sanji member on your iPad and then like recording. Okay, wait, wait, that's all I need to know. We've already <laughs> said this stream is for 18 plus, okay? Yeah, 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 all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. I'll stop. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Continue, okay, continue. Okay, okay, okay. So it's essentially, it's essentially taking... It's essentially taking a camera and recording your entire dick and balls mm -hmm. and recording yourself jerking to completion and then nutting all over the iPad that has the image of the VTuber on it. Oh my goodness. He said it. Okay. Yeah. I, oh wow. Wow. I saw that and I was like, mm, damn. That's all right. crazy. You know, con convic con conviction, you know, like fair enough. Dude. If you That's can, if crazy. you can jerk what? off and actually finish to just a still PNG of a clothed oh anime character, like fair enough, uh, <laughs> you have greater uh, control than I. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? That's a thing. That's a thing. Yeah, it's been a thing for a oh while. Oh my people, god! People, people, people did it before. Before like Vici was a thing, they did it like it's not beyond mm. eighteen plus. If you're eighteen, you know what cum is. Like if they, if dude. Okay, <laughs> look, 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 we're not gonna keep. Look, look, I'm gonna be real, guys. Guys, we know what cum is. We know what masturbating is. We know what that shit is. Dude, don't act like it's so. It's normal. Like, can we please normalize? Like, hey, people do that shit. Like, it's it's obviously like there's a time and place to talk about it. But like, hey, look, there's there's. We know people do that shit, all right? Mm -hmm. Like, don't act like it's like, what? what? What is that? Why would you say that? How could you say something? Look, it happens, okay? It's normal. It's normal. We're, I'm obviously not going to make it a topic or, like, go with it any further into it. But, like, I'm not going to act like it's abnormal or, like, you know, bad to talk about. Like, people do that shit, all right? Like, Everybody you know, you keep, you keep it jerks you off. It, it's normal. You keep it to yourself. Yeah. You keep right. it to yourself, then we're good. And I keep it to myself, then we're good, all right? And, that, and then we're chill. We're chill. That's all it is. 
is. That's it's not weird or it's not like so out of the line. It's just like it's a normal part of just being a person. <laughs> so yeah. Like unless like you don't want to do that. It's just like hey, it's it's, a, it's, a thing. it's an it's interesting thing. question actually by the way. Mhm. Mm what, Wait, do you have another question? What is uh, no? Actually, no, never mind. Um, I'm just, I'm trying to load up the uh, mm. the fucking um the Twitter page and my 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 PC is being a little weird. There we go. Um, no, I was just thinking about something to do with that, and then I realized like maybe I shouldn't ask. That. Mm. <laughs> it's one of the hardest <laughs> things. It's one of the hardest things about being like a host of a program is like I want to yeah. know the answer to this question, but like should I ask it in in, a, in on a public place? You know, I never want to yeah. hit a point. That's the thing. I want to do this show often, but I never want to hit a point where I ask someone a question. And they say I'm not comfortable asking that because then I've made them sad. You know, I don't want to do that. You know, but I also want to get deep. I want to be a journalist and be like, what is the juice? You know, so it's the it's juice. difficult. Yeah, <laughs> what is the okay. what is the beans going on in this person's brain? Yeah, I, I get you. The beans. <laughs> what? What are, that is what, the most what, what are the thing beans? you said? What are the also, beans? Also, thank you for the donation. Thank you so much to the people who are donating. I appreciate. It. I Everyone see, giving like, Arca you know, supers. I see a pop thank up on you. My phone. Yeah. From like, I see a pop Lays, up on my phone Maya, from time and uh, a Korean name that I cannot read, and Kick. Thank you for the Aka Supers and Arabella with a regular super. Thank you very much. It's, uh. <laughs> I was. No, never mind. I won't ask. It's fine. Oh, man. I'm. I, uh, what were you saying, anyways? What were you saying again? Nothing. Let's move on to another question. Oh, yeah. Um, questions. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Questions. Okay. Um. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is a good one. All right. So from uh, Eva uh, underscore five two two on Twitter, to both yeah. of us, what is your most memorable stream from debut to now, and why? I oh, dude. Okay, there's okay. I have two answers because like the first one that I can think of right now is like when we first collabed, and like I didn't know anybody else was in the call, and I was like complimenting like everybody, every member of the stream, and like Vox, and then like you were still in the call just listening, and you're just like, oh yeah, and you just like popped up out of nowhere, and I was like, oh wait, you're still here. I thought you left, right? And you like complimented me too. I was like, oh, that's so sweet, man. You're still here and listening and stuff too. I thought that was really memorable memorable and like really sweet to hear that hey you cared about like you like you complimented me as like a person a content creator i was just like oh that's so sweet of you to do right during like you know at the end of that collab when everybody left but you just just like decide to stay for whatever reason just listen to me talk to my chat right and then like there was another stream i think it was like uh i don't know i feel like we really shined in our like <laughs> in our uh every like don't talk and nobody explodes collab that was yeah, really fun too that was that something was really else nice. i love that one that was insane yeah, was like, i had so much fun with that one and the amount of jokes yeah. that came out the what color is the red wire and i was like shut it's the fuck red up. shut the fuck up man i know what color red is okay mm. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh man i almost choked on water but yeah, uh, it's just like, yo, that's how that's how it is. Um, I, I really do look back on those. I'm like, if in terms of our friendship, I'm like, oh, dude, he's decided to stay around and stick around when everyone left and just like, hey, be like, oh, you're really sweet too. And I really liked your content. Nah, like a great the, content creator. And this like, experience to me is mm. so much more than just being like, than just yeah. working for something and just being like, oh, I'm gonna do my stream and you'll be there to give me content and then I'll leave and go and go and fap into the toilet and go to sleep. Like that's that's far from what I want. I want to like make relationships with people that I admire and just have fun with everybody and like that's the end yeah. of it. You know, like I've always it it will never stop. In, it's never stop impressing me no matter how like numbers to me don't really reflect how much value a person has you know and for me recently it was my collab with um mel project melody because she, oh yeah dude i love melody she she's, was she's like really she was like the first person who was really paving the way for like vtubers being massively sus and obviously, you know me, you know, I'm there like actively promoting like auto fellatio and ASMR and shit like that. It probably wouldn't, I wouldn't have that level of bravery and I wouldn't be able to do that shit 
if she didn't set that set the path for that and getting to like hang out with her and getting to like just chat that was i don't care how big Melody's she is i don't great. care how big yeah. i am yeah. she is incredible and you are incredible yeah. as well and just going about Aww, that is insane you know right like you're sweet man mm. yeah like melody is a great like despite what constant she kind of says she's actually like really like down to earth mm. from what i've seen in terms of like and super you know, funny too. switch streams and she's really funny yeah like hey yo melody you're cool man you're cool thank you for being like you know thank you for being real with it too and like thank you for like you know just like being honest as well and I, I love her content too. Like I don't obviously I don't watch like you know all the sussy stuff, but still like I do enjoy her Twitch streams. And I do enjoy her content. Like she's cool. She's cool. She's a cool person. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you had a great experience too. Experience with her as well. Like I like her. Me too. Me too. And uh, yeah, it was a pretty surreal experience considering like years ago. I had watched a few of her like chatterbait streams and been like, damn, this is this is this, <laughs> this is kind of this is kind of cute. And I had like watched that and then I was like sat chatting to her <gasps> in person. I was like, oh my god, I've like oh, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like it was Yo, weird, people, but very humbling like, like, at the same time. Yeah. Weren't people like pressed by the fact that VTubers were like taking over the chatterbait scene or something like that? Like at what? the time when she was like, I mean, it was like I guess that's why what is it? Like XQC puts VTuber in his tags. You know, it's like they've kind of Michael pressed Wall. the feature. It's dude, like, when dude, you clapped him in Overwatch, I yeah, laughed so hard. Let's go! I was so <laughs> fucking go. happy. I was like, okay. Beat by a PNG Omega Low. It's not just that he's one of the biggest streamers on Twitch, it's the fact that he is an ex Overwatch League talent. And there I was, like, one tapping you him on Roadhog. And Sleepy and a bunch of other people just, like, destroyed his- Oh, my God. Like, okay, no hate to- Like, his, his content's funny, but, like, like- I, yo, I, I think just, he's hilarious. I like him, yeah. yeah he's hilarious. I like watching him play scary games, honestly. Like, he's funny. <laughs> like, I don't know. He's a good content creator. It's very but, like, genuine. Yo. When he gets scared yeah. by horror, by scary games, he's like, he's like, <laughs> no, fuck that. Like, he's genuinely feels like it's real. <laughs> I love watching that shit. I think it's so funny. It's so funny, man. Oh, like, lost to a I, PNG yeah. Omega Law, lost to an NFT. <laughs> fuck NFTs, but, but yeah. Yeah, he, me too. He, he, yeah, he, yeah, he fuck NFTs. Dicked. He got dicked. He got dicked. <sighs> Man. He got dicked, and thank it was you, pretty thank great. Thank you, you and Selen for yeah. like repping. I, I, I love Selen so much for like giving me those opportunities mm -hmm. because I think my biggest downfall or my biggest like flaw as a content creator is that I can't network. I am so bad at reaching out to people myself. Like. I will never, 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 never ask for a collab with someone that I have not spoken to first. And I will never introduce myself to someone first. It has to be someone else coming to me and saying, yo, hello, I would like to collab with you. And then I will be like, I think I'm fairly charismatic and extroverted when it comes to people who introduce themselves to me. But, other, but I cannot do it myself. I get so shy because... Like, mm -hmm. come on, I'm in I'm in the VTuber community. Everyone in this community is so fucking talented. Everyone has so much shit going on. And that's why I appreciate, like, you were the one who approached me for a collab originally for It Takes Two. Because you know, you're, you're the one cool, who was man. Like, I love your happen. contents. Like, I, I'm a very, like, dude, if I want to collab with someone, I'll ask them, like, if they don't want to. I know, like, Mista's so busy. He's not, I know he's, like, not the best at asking for collabs and stuff like that. But that's why I try my best to be like, hey, like, if you want to play something sometime, I'm open to the idea. And, like, it's not a bad, like, yo, anytime you're free, like, hey, let's play something sometime, right? Yeah. And, like, it, it's, mm. it's just, like, it's just, like, I know. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I know <laughs> I know like it's hard for some of you guys sometimes because like but I try my best I really do try my best to like be like open up that conversation be like hey dude we, it doesn't even have to be a collab we could just play together right it doesn't have to be always about content I, I just like hey, just playing with people like that's, that they're cool right you know what I mean hmm that's all it is. That's all it is. I just mm. like playing with my friends, man. And that's me, all it is. Me too. It it's an incredible experience getting in the in this kind of oh. scene because you like 
have been looking up to people, streamers, everybody for your entire life you on know? the internet, and then you get yeah. to hang out and play games with them. Okay. And they also look up to you back. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's so crazy. Like, okay, I'm gonna say something a little bit more soft, but back in like 2012, 2013, 2014, I used to watch so much Lily Pichu. She's a great content creator, by the way. She I love is, her. isn't she? Yeah, and the fact that I get to play with her so often now, and like Saikuno as well, and like other OTV members, it's like a dream come true. It's like, it's one of my goals. I said it in my like debut. It was one of my goals to get to play with the streamers that I wanted to play with, um, that I look up to the most. And the fact that I got the honor to play with them because they were people that I saw as role models for growing up and to like, you know, pave the way for me to be also become a content creator. It's like so unimaginable. Like, dude, I, I really am so happy that I get to, you know, be in the position that I am and like get to play the games with these people that I looked up to so long ago and like, you know, inspired me to become like somebody that I am right now. And, you know, to continue to improve myself, like they're great content creators too. And I always used to watch them and the fact that like, hey, I'm here right now and I get to play like what Valorant or League of Legends or like Fall Guys with them. It makes me so happy because I'm like, dude, when I was a kid, I used to watch your stuff all the time. And it made me like, you know, on top of the world to like, they might not know it. Like, I don't know if they're watching right now, but they might not know it. But they might I, be. I really... They might be. Would you be embarrassed? Yeah, they might be. But uh, I do really. It means a lot that they, you know, took the time to be like, "Hey, you want to play something with me? Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll play with you." Like when she invited me to her Twitch anniversary, Lily, and um, I, I really it meant a lot to me to get to play Valorant with her and stuff like that. Like mm. getting to play with your role models is something else. And I want to remind you guys, like, if you it's possible okay anything is possible just go for it man just go for it i would never imagine being in the position i am now but i'm, I'm so lucky and i'm so happy i i will be, take that to heart because that. i i never go for it like i always assume that people will only want to hang out with me if they ask me first and i tend to be very insecure about these kind of things you know i I value myself a lot and I think I have good self-esteem, but when it comes to people that I look up to that much, it reaching out to someone first that I've never spoken to before, I I don't think I've ever done it. I don't think I've mm -hmm. ever been the the one to make the initial jump to say, "Hey, I think you're cool, let's collab." Even though like as Vox Akuma, like I feel like I totally could, you know, because like you both of you and I have so much pull now and we have so much like clout i guess whatever Ugh. you know and oh. it's it's a shitty to think about because i don't like thinking about things in that way but like yeah, i guess i could neither. i still i feel like what matters more than that is a person is just who a person is you know and i yeah. when that's i look up what, to that's for, what it boils down to mm -hmm. if you're a good person for example it goes when I, a long way i agree with you like i look up to lily Pichu as well especially as someone who wants to be a voice actor you know and i've been yeah me too i love voice acting so much mm -hmm. and i want to get more into it like not like just like as a hobby singing too it's like it's a great passion like i love it so much and like you have so much potential to be such a great voice actor too i see your like stupid impressions is like so good Thank and like you. you know i've been i've been voice I really acting care about years. a lot too i really hope you can succeed in that I've, I've been voice acting for years and then just knowing that someone like Lily Pichu follows me and she's like making waves in the voice acting community like yeah. no matter how big a person is no matter how many likes their tweets get no matter how much this and this and this which what all the fucking dickheads will focus on like oh this person no, 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 no. it's about what a person is able to do it's about their talent it's about how focused they are and how much they achieve I just i i want i want to do so much shit with every single person and i i i i can't wait for like even though i've already been in this game for like six months there's so much more that i can't wait to get the chance you're to in do, for a lot honestly. more trust me also i have to pee so me, me too do you want to take like an intermission i'll like i'll like move us both off screen we can do i have to pee as well i desperately have to pee i was holding it i was like yeah i, I can have to i was like i, I can hold it to the end of the show right i can now, do it and then you were like i have to pee and i was like i have to pee too yeah, 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 give me a second. Okay, okay. I go pee. I go pee. BRB. Guys, we pee. We pee. Chat, uh -huh. chill. We pee. We pee. We pee.
Vox isn't. <laughs> you motherfucker, of course I'm back. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> oh my god. That was a like, I, I like sat on the toilet and I just like pissed for like, what, 40 to a minute? Hey, yo, dude, check out how hard I can piss. You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Dude, this is, like, honestly the most drunk I've ever been. You took, like, my, my drunk virginity in terms of, like, this <laughs> level, I think. <laughs> nice. Nice. It's, it's good, I think, every once in a while to get mm. so drunk that you just stop thinking about what's going on. Also, mm. I'm so happy... I knew I was making a good investment when I got my standing desk and they were like, what attachment would you like for the left side? And they were like, you can have a filing cabinet. You can have a cooler. And I was like, okay, good. Or you can have a bottle opener. And I was like, I am you going got to a have, bottle opener. Oh I'm going to have a bottle opener. So I just, on my desk, That's I just so lean cool. over and I just, and I just get a bottle opener. It's fucking fantastic. Oh, dude. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> How many beers are you in right now? I think I'm like one sham mini champagne bottle in. I'm like what one third of the vodka bottle. <laughs> I am so I'm on uh 30 33 centiliter bottles of Corona, which are 4.5% volume alcohol. I am one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bottles of that deep. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna put my vodka away. Because it's like, oh my god, I dropped my- Oh no, oh no, it's not dropping on the floor. Oh, drop. You hear that? Like, all falling on the floor. Yeah, me lightweight uh, my fucking ass. Me lightweight. lightweight my ass. I'm not a lightweight, you son of a bitch. Mm. Mm. Okay, anyways, but yeah, I was- I, uh, what were you- Oh yeah, questions, right? More questions? More questions. More Let's more have questions. a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's have a look. Hashtag under the table. <laughs> it's crazy how, like, what's it? Inebriated you can be. Mm -hmm. Like, not give a shit. Like, I'm at the point of, like, I don't give a shit, you know? I think it's so important every once in a while to get drunk to the point where you can fully think, you know? Like, because... I can still think. Like, I'm still thinking. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know... Alcohol removes inhibitions and it lets you think and speak as your true self. And I think that's so important when it comes to, like, really growing as a person, you know. If you're always, like, if you always have inhibitions and you're always, like, so concerned about how people see me, how people see this, and th th this, and that, blah, 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 then it's... It's difficult, right? So, but with yeah. alcohol, you just kind of stop worrying about it. I have, um, I have a very good question. It was in this hashtag earlier, and I'm trying to find it. I think it disappeared, and it's making me sad because I thought it was a funny question. Someone said, "Is Vox is Shoulder on Vox's lap?" No, Vox is on my lap right now. <laughs> this is this is kind of switched up. <laughs> what was your question? <sighs> Basically, um, can you tell me there's one fan artist who makes fan art of you all the time? And they've got a profile picture where they have white hair. And I believe they are Chinese. And mm -hmm. they ha asked a question, and I really want to ask it to you because I think <laughs> it is funny. Uh huh. I think I know which one you're talking about. Which one is it? Uh... Mm hmm. What's the question? I, I I need to I need to be able I need to be able to read it to know what the fuck the question is. <laughs> Which one is it? What? I found is it. it I found it. I found it. Okay. Is it the math one? From from Bayes Jintian, who draws a lot of fan art of mostly you, but also of you and me. Mm -hmm. To test if you are still awake, please answer the following questions. What is fifty-eight plus thirty-five? Eighty-five. <laughs> no. No. What do you mean, no? 50, huh? 58 plus 35. 35. That's like 80 plus 13, which is uh, 93. 
93. I'm still good, right? That's 93. Yeah, That's 93. correct. All right, there are more. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are more. Okay, okay. 100, more? 108 plus 178. Oh, easy clap. That's 286. 286. Let me let me whip out my fucking calculator for that just to make sure you're uh, right. Oh, look, the demon can't do mental you're, math. No, 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 you're probably right. I just want to verify because, like, my mental math is... Yeah, no, you're right. My mental math is bad. Uh, once, uh, Dude, when we did... Th Dude, I, what I was, what was like, your answer? What was your answer again? 286. You are correct. You are correct. Wow! How yeah, about... Wow. How about 425 plus mm -hmm. 724... I think that would... 400... What, repeat that? Wait, what did you say? 425, 425 plus 725. 11... 1,149. She showed her with the Sheesh. math! All right! Fair Let's enough. All right, go. they have they have one more question. One more question. I reckon you're good at math. They will give you this. All right. Mm -hmm. 520 Wink Kindred plus <laughs> 1,314. Every time I see 520, I can't not think about, well, I need or I love you. That was the so thing cute. is that whenever yeah. I remember there was, I remember there was somebody who made like a, I can't remember which VTuber it was. Someone did like, I think it might have been you saying like, yeah, I'm doing my special celebration for 520. I was yeah, like, I did a, I 520, did a 520 is so close to 522. I was like, are you like copying me, motherfucker? Like, what the no, hell is going on? No, I wasn't copying you. It was just, it's just a Chinese thing. It's like 520 means, mm. it means I, I love you. I know that now. I know that now. I know that now. Copying, bro. <laughs> Never. I know that now. I know that now. What was, that? Now, but what was because... the math again? Hmm? It was, was 520 plus mm -hmm. 1,314. 1,314 plus 500. That's, uh... Oh, wait, that's 1,834. Easy. You are a easy. gamer. Congratulations. You beat all of the math oh. questions. I'm so proud of you. Well done. Let's you did go. it. Guys, Let's Shoto go. is a math genius. And for his... <laughs> Talent, he gets a little kiss on the dick. Mwah. Wow, on the tip, just on the tip. What about just on the, the shaft? Maybe on the little on the balls too. Maybe a little. A little what? What? You answered like four addition mm -hmm. questions in math correctly. You want me to just? You want me to slurp on your balls? You got to work hard. Oh that, my boy. god. Okay. What's the derivative of? What's the derivative of one hundred forty-four? The fuck is a derivative? Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Ah, oh, motherfucker. Hey, I ain't go to school for math. I don't think math existed well in my childhood. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay, let me look at the questions now, too. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's look, let's look, let's look. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? What is this one? What is the most challenging part of being an indie VTuber or what challenges did you face since you started? For Vox, what do you think are the best and worst parts of being a VTuber? Okay, so you can lament on that while I talk about mine. Sure. But, um, the most challenging part of being an indie is that, um, I guess this is like framed in a way that you like you're asking in a pose to be like in a company, right? So if you're like a company VTuber versus like an indie VTuber, obviously like, you know, it's harder being an indie. Like I think anybody can understand that. But the the trade-off is like you have more freedom in terms of like what you do, who you collab with and what games you play because like you know, you're not under a company brand, right? Versus like if you were in like Holo or Niji or anything like that, it's just like yo, um, it's uh, any kind of VTuber company, you have a certain like rule set to follow and like you're under management, right? But on the indie, you have to do that by yourself unless you like hire managers or like you hire people to uh, you know, help you with that um, type of responsibilities, right? And you also, um, you know. You're an indie. You don't have genmates. You don't have like, uh, you know, uh, what is it? You are relatively, in a way, besides like your friends, you're technically just an independent. It's literally what it is. You're an independent VTuber. So in a way, you have to like, 
make of it what you will and um try to like set yourself up for success as much as you can since you're like it's it's the best i can akin it to is like imagine you're a freelance artist right versus being a contract artist so think about it like in those terms again too right so mm. there are struggles with that in terms of like um not being able to uh what's it have those resources readily available to you and also like there i have felt like you know there's a there's maybe this is just me but there's a bit of ridicule like you know if you do have a lot of indie friends i mean if you do have a lot of company friends right or like have a lot of people that you want to play with that are our company like you do experience a lot of uh it's hard to get to play with them due to like whatever it may be like scheduling and stuff like that or like um people are like uh you know like restrictions and stuff like it's hard you know it's hard to make time for that stuff and i do have a lot of in of friends that are, are in companies and stuff like that but it's not to say like i do um have indie friends too i do have indie friends and i'm, I'm looking to forward to playing more of that um in the future more of those people in the future sorry i'm i'm like losing my my like train of thoughts here, so. <laughs> me too but yeah that's no, the best i can explain it. but um for for vox's question it was like um what was it what's the best and worst parts of being a vtuber yeah that was your fuck question. okay the best part of being a vtuber i think is having the platform to do whatever you want for content and having it work. So recently I did a stream where I went into it. So when VTube, v every streamer, YouTuber, content creator, whatever, we always have this assumption that there is content that A, we want to make, but we are aware that it will not draw massive viewership. We're aware of that and we're comfortable with it. For me, uh -huh. that was my Mario 64 stream. Mario 64, is one of my favorite games. It is deeply, deeply mm -hmm. nostalgic to me. And as an adult, it inspires me so much as a pinnacle of game design and one of the most revolutionary it's games such a good game, ever right? made. Yeah. I did a stream where I said, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care who watches this. I am going to play Mario 64. And I made like almost a million yen and more than 7,000 people showed up at its peak to watch me play this game that I cared about. That is See, a luxury beyond yeah. all luxuries. You can choose a game that you mm -hmm. love yeah. and people will show up because to watch you play it that's the, because they love the thing. you. That in itself We're lucky to is have insane. people that like, love us like that. Yeah. Like... I love horror games so much, right? Horror games are one of my favorite genres of all time, and I will never compromise on that. Like, I will always play a horror game if I feel like playing a horror game, because that's one of my favorite genres. I love getting scared. I love, like, you know, seeing how a game approaches, like, scaring the person that plays based on, like, whether if it's environmental horror or like the psychological horror or the atmospheric horror like it could be anything to do with that genre and i love it so much i love horror to like to, to like my very core of my heart right and i will never stop playing a horror game despite like what anyone might say or like i know some people don't enjoy horror right then that's okay you don't need to watch it right that's just how it is like if you don't enjoy horror you don't have to watch horror but i love that genre so much that i just I always want to play it on stream and share that love of horror that I have with the people that I also equally care about as well, right? Like, because my community is like, you know, my, it's like my second family to me and sharing something like horror games where I can like, you know, enjoy so much and get to like, give that experience to them in a way through me is like, it's so cool. And it's something that I want to keep doing in the future, you know? So I understand where you're going from. Like Mario 64 being a game that you love so much and like, you know, it's something that you want to play and people love that a lot. Then that's that that's like the best thing in the world, right? I don't think that's ever something you should ever compromise on. Like you play what you want and the people that truly support you and love you will also, you know, support that and endeavor and that's how I feel about playing horror on my streams or like 
you know how you feel about playing like games like that or like smash or anything that you love or like fnaf on your streams people will love that about you right for the yeah. first bit huh <laughs> for, for, the, for the first bit are you okay <laughs> yes i'm fine but i completely agree with you and but another part of that question that needs to be answered, I'm getting, I'm getting really drunk now. Oh my god, I can barely keep my eyes open. Yo, me too, man. Jesus yeah, Christ. I am but losing my listen, fucking listen, mind. Listen, 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 listen. The main <laughs> aspect, I think, like the most negative part of being a VTuber specifically, is how insecure it can make you feel, because. Hmm? Comparing yourself to this avatar that you inhabit can make you feel so terrible, you know. Wanting to be who you wanting to be who this character is that you project yourself as can make you feel so less. So lesser compared to what you embody yourself as every day. You are that person though. And not only that, not only that, yeah. not only that. But also the negativity that you see on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, Fame okay. is incredible, and it gives you the opportunity of it gives you the 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 opportunity to to do whatever you want and have people consume it and watch it and support you for it. But what it will also do is expose you to the kind of people who will bring you down for that same sort of thing. It will expose you to the people who will say, this guy is ugly, this guy is this, this guy is that. And then I don't think anyone, no matter how thick-skinned you are, running into random vitriolic hate online will never become easy for a person. It will never... It will never be, like, no one who enters this job is ready to see that kind of shit. And we all see it. We all see it. We It affects all of us. And it, if there was a world where we, as content creators, could do what we do, could work as hard as we do to make content that you guys really enjoy without needing to see the kind of shit that people will throw at us, then we would all be making better content every single day because the kind of shit that we see is really aggressive and it's really upsetting because there is so much that people want to say about us. They want to say, this guy is this. He doesn't care about his friends. He says this about his friends. He says that. I don't like the content he makes. I think that I liked him when he debuted, but now I think he's weird and I don't like him anymore. And then we doubt ourselves. And, and as we grow, we wonder, am I growing in the right way? Or am I growing because of something that doesn't matter? Am I upsetting people that love me? Or am I making them happy? There is so much self-doubt that goes into making this job perfect. And all of us want to make this job a perfect experience. For everyone that watches us, we are working tirelessly to make this work. And it's so difficult to balance that and make it work for everybody. So, you know, it's difficult, but we are all trying. We're all trying as hard as we can every day, both me, everyone in Niji, and Shoto as well, all the indies, everyone in Hollow as well. It's a difficult line that you have to walk across where you want to do what makes you happy. But sometimes everyone online wants to say things about you that are really pretty vile and disgusting and you just have to cope. And it's difficult, but we know that now, I this guess. This is why I like Vox a lot. He's real with it too. Like everything you just said is like, why I appreciate you as a person. Like, we're all in the same boats, whether it's company or indie, we know how it is, right? And the fact that you acknowledge all this, it's very beautiful. Like, you're a very beautiful person in this, uh, in this sense <clears throat> of acknowledging, like, these, you know, difficulties we all run into. And it's very real, right, guys? Like, I don't think it's like, I speak for a lot of streamers out there, it's it's a very real experience that a lot of us have to go through. And um, 
I I think like it's important to be very a lot more uh, considerate and and th this goes back to my patience discussion like being patient with the people you care about goes a long way right and the fact that like some of you guys can be like if you can provide that patience for the people you care about not even just like the streamers you care about but like your friends too please right like it'll it goes a long way it goes a long way none of us are prepared like that readily when things like go this crazy or, like things like you know go this well it's um it's something we're all getting used to i don't think many people talk about it either but i feel like i have the liberty to talk about it right now but it's not easy and please like know that your favorite streamer even if it's not us are going through the same thing most likely and they're coping with it in their own way so hey be patient with them and you'll you'll give them the world if you can you know give them that much respect right okay you just got to think about imagine if you were in this position if every one of your dreams came true and you had this audience and you had all of this would you want people to support you and you would you want people to say nice things about you and let you do the things that you love or would you want people to criticize you and sort of bring you down you wouldn't want the latter you would want people to support you so do unto others as you wish to be done on, upon you you know and it's a thing that i think that's like a for, general life lesson too. right yeah. is a, exactly exactly and i think it implies it applies to our audience because i think everyone is aware of the kind of is, is aware of streamer culture and is aware of this kind of thing yeah but it applies to life itself you're so right you're so right like i feel like me being the person that i am I do want, I do acknowledge there are a lot younger people than me in the audience right now too. And like, you know, just like in general, following our content or like following my content. I, at the very least, please like take what we say to heart and like learn from it. Like I might not be the smartest person in the world, right? I'm still learning. Like I know I'm still, I'm still learning things and like understanding more about myself and like how things are supposed to be. But I feel like I can have the liberty to say I'm wise enough to understand that basic facts like these basic facts that we've been saying throughout the entire stream so please don't like think it's just like something to ignore or like it's just like more banter it's it's really is important right mm -hmm. and I do want people out there I want the community like people to know like hey it's important to take these to heart if you take it to heart then I feel like I've done my job and I've been successful in what I wanted to do for the people that are here right now, the people that are listening right now, the people that um took the time out of their day to be here and, you know, listen to whatever the fuck this rogue, <laughs> dumbass, demon sling fucker has to say, right? It means a lot that they take the time to listen to that too. So thank you. Okay. Like for real thank you for listening to that and i really do hope again i said so many times but thank you for just my man my man really <laughs> so fucking brave of you oh my god uh dude it's, it's really important man i think it's it's a good thing to like if you have uh you know i like i like doing what i do and i feel like a part of it though is like you know nobody i feel like nobody can disagree with like that kind of um life lesson right mm -hmm. you know what i'm talking about like yeah. it's it's a good life lesson but obviously it takes some people a, a different amount of time that's why i'm like so patient with people i feel like i'm very patient with people more those than i should be in to learn like what you know what's good for them and like what they should be approach like what should they should be doing i don't i don't think that's a good way to phrase it but like learning what's best for them yeah let's say that and i'm i'm like very patient for that and i really do hope that people um take what i say to heart like and it's not just some like jumble of information or, like you know just filler talk it's literally you know me talking from my heart right now mm -hmm. and being honest to god like hey consider it okay Please.
You fucking love to hear it, and I really admire how open and honest and how fucking, like, how much you've delivered today. Like, I feel like we've- not only have we gotten drunk, and not only have we been sitting here in this bar and just chatting as friends, I feel like we've delivered a TED talk about the pitfalls <laughs> and dangers of being a streamer as well, and I feel like we've delivered yeah. that so much. It's been insane having you on this show, and I can't really thank you enough for like how close we've gotten over the past year and how much I hope that in the future we manage to keep making content together as well because there's Dude, so much don't that we believe have the me we will we will keep continuing to like I really do enjoy spending time with you like I said before I really love our Elden Ring streams when you get to I, talk about next the lore. time you play that game I am going to be there I want to see you get to the end of Landell I want to see you react to what the final boss is because you're going to lose your mind it's going to be <laughs> so great I can't wait I cannot wait yeah, I, I still need to get more flowers, like those Erd Tree, whatever they're called to like I will farm them. The I swear to God, yeah, I will farm, farm them. them. I, you can summon me whenever the fuck you want, baby boy. Yeah, you can summon me Thank whenever you, you like. like. I think it'd be nice to... Like, I'm obviously going to do the final boss myself, but, like, I really, oh, at yeah. this point, I don't mind, like, doing those bosses with each other because they're, like, like they're, like, whatever. I as think the main to... bosses you should do yourself, but, like, mm -hmm. random world bosses, like the Draconic Tree Sentinel, you should, like, yeah, like, fuck it, you know, let's just give Dude, it our that all. that was so difficult. That was though. insane, we... wasn't it? Like, Like, Jesus his Christ. difficulty spiked by a lot as by adding another person, which was crazy to me, mm. right? But it was yeah. still so fun. I can't get over like yeah. how much fun it was to beat that guy together. That was so insane. It, I felt so much euphoria when we finally like demolished that fucker at the very end. Like it yeah. took us like what two hours. It was our last attempt. <laughs> yeah. It was our last flower, and we finally did it. It was, dude. That's so cool. It was our last flower, and we managed to beat him. Like that's so poetic, man. Like the very last one, we finally like you know hankered down and finally like you know accumulated all that knowledge from all our previous attempts, and finally like overcame the insurmountable and defeated that motherfucker to, and just like it was the most euphoric thing in the entire world at the very end of the stream like that was amazing like i love those moments like that's a core memory for me like i'll always remember the mm. time like me and you defeated the draconic tree sentinel together on I'm stream just in spending of, like, like hundreds of people 40 plus tries me farming yeah. the flowers and everything and then just beating it like let's go yeah let's go i'll never get over that <laughs> oh it's so fun all right, I think um, for now, it's been about three hours. We've gotten insanely drunk, and it might be time for us to... It's been three hours? Yeah, it passed so what? fast, right? There's no fucking way, bro. We, we've already watched... We've already been hanging out for three hours. How about we answer one more question? One more question. Least. All right, that sounds good. That sounds good. Before we end, we will answer yeah, one... Yeah, we both... Uh, okay, let's... One more question. One more question yeah. from under the table. Mm -hmm. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Yeah, you can give it since I gave the last one previously, I think. This can be your question. Mm. <sighs> oh boy. <laughs> Ooh, now this is good. What is the most embarrassing thing you guys have said to one another? And I would also say. This applies to the most embarrassing thing that you've said in general, be it on stream or off. The most embarrassing thing we've said to each other? Yeah. Oh, you go first. You go first here. <sighs> For me, the most embarrassing, I mean, the most embarrassing thing that I've done on stream <laughs> is like cry like more than about like three or four times and just sit there and be like, Wee. oh, on stream, oh, like, like okay. on or off, you know, like whichever. But for me on stream, it would be just sit there and like sob, you know, like just sit there and appreciate <laughs> the amount of people who are giving support to me and think about it and be like, Wee. Yeah, man. Like, even now, like, I really appreciate the people that are still, like, supporting me. 
on my end like you know like i see people donating to me actively still even though i'm like streaming here like that 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 just goes to show like there's so many supportive guildies and kindred out there or like guildred or kindreds whatever mm, mm. <laughs> it is like they that are like you don't want to give love but um i do think my most embarrassing one i think it was honestly just getting to ask or like muster up the courage to be like hey you want to play it takes two with me and i think after that everything was like history right like after like mustering the courage just to be like hey vox you want to play it takes two with me sometime and you saying yes like that was probably the most like not embarrassing but it was like it, it did like make me shy like yeah uh, in a way embarrassing yeah but after i overcame that it made me really happy like i was like oh dude we get to play this game with each other let's go and we finally like understood our dynamic and like it was really fun and we got to like experience an adventure together and that's like one of the best things anybody i collab with i want it to feel like it's an adventure right of a lifetime and i feel like forever i will i will like you know hold that deep in my heart that we got to experience it takes two as like a wonderful adventure we had with one another so but overcoming that embarrassment went a long way for me yeah i have so many positive memories of our it takes two collab like genuinely like you were the one who was pushing for that collab to happen and originally i was mm -hmm. like eh, it might be fun i didn't know about the game you know i was like well the game looks kind of fun you know it's like it's a funny game little game like yeah, we'll get around <laughs> to it eventually and then we played it and i was like shit this is a good game and also this is a fun guy you know like it really revealed itself to me so easily and i had so much fun playing that game and even considering oh, the amount of time uh. the amount of times that what was it that i said you know when i when we when we mounted to those spiders and you were like what is your spider called and i was like oh it's shoto because i'm on top of it right shut now. the fuck up man yeah. shut the fuck up. No, 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 no. bad uh, bad joke bad joke bad joke it was it was a good game though like I'm I'm very happy we got to experience that together. Like from like our shenanigans from like each different area to like the fucking chest and you molding from the fucking chest because like it like took away your. We what, need at glitched. some point at some point we need to do a full blown chess collab like a one v one chess collab because I know I can beat you. Like there was that one game where I was genuinely working and I was like relying on the time running out to let me win and then the time just didn't do it like it kept going like the minus figures like it just bugged out i was so mad yeah like, i don't know why it bugged out so that like i think that's what you're playing off of but on my end it was like wait i have so much time wait why is he playing like, like this right so yeah i think we do need to i mean who else in yuji plays or like anybody else that we know that plays i don't know. Uh, collab, uh, like, i know mika chess. i know mika plays chess and she's very mika good plays it. chess for real yeah Holy like shit. she's apparently she's very good at chess and it scares me oh no i don't oh shit dude if we can get one sub over mika then i think uh that's that's a that's a big that's a big win for us too oh man mm -hmm. oh okay all right. Uh, I think um, we've been going for three hours and a, and quite a bit. I think mm -hmm. for now, would you would you feel okay to uh, wrap the show up for today? Yeah, I think I want to roll into bed and my man for needs a to while. take a nap. I need to take a nap yeah. as well. We've been drinking a lot. I am like nine beers deep. He is how many? How I am like a third of vodka, a sham, a mini champagne bottle, which is like the size of my hand. I don't know how much it was, but it's a lot of alcohol. And the fact that you can hear me kind of fucking up my words here and there, it just means like, you know, I'm, I'm yeah, in yeah, deep yeah, right yeah. now. <laughs> so All right. yeah, that's Before it. Before we end, what are mm -hmm. your plans? What are you streaming tomorrow? Let me know. Okay, so tomorrow I am going to be streaming Fall Guys Let's at go. 8 p.m. EDT with my community. And I think it'd be fun because I wanted to play some more of my chat. And also Schubert might be joining me and we might be doing a Community Wars type of thing like I did with Saikuno previously. But, hey, yo, I mean, yeah. depending on the time, I might I might hop, hop con myself. If, if you, you feel like playing me. Fall Guys with us, I'm more than welcome to. It depends you know, on the time. It depends on the yeah. time, definitely. But I, I yeah. love... I've only played Fall Guys once, and it was during my 24-hour stream, mm -hmm. and Luca invited me, and... 
Well, it wasn't Luke who invited me. He was playing it. I just booted it up, and then we played together for a mm. while. And it's such a fun game. Like, genuinely, it's, it's so much fun. Honestly, I feel like um, Saikuno helps make it more fun for me. And I really did enjoy, like, my experiences through Fall Guys. But it's, like, something fun you get to play with a community since you get to invite so many people, right, into, like, the lobby, too. So it's, like, a nice little community game mm. as well. Also, um, I will be having my outfit debut later in August. Where I'll have go watch like his a, fucking uh, outfit debut. It's gonna be yeah. insane, dude. I'm gonna have new assets, new toggles, new animations, and new out. Like it's gonna be really pog. By the same mama, by the way. So I hope people will. You guys me. aren't ready for what this man is about to reveal. He has so many secrets. You just gotta. There's keep, a lot more secrets. Like I revealed one on Twitter, which was like the swirly eyes, but there's so much more than that. That was like a fraction. Like as Thanos said, it's just a fraction of our power. So yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to show what I have to. Uh, I'm so to happy for everybody. You, I can't wait oh, to see it. I'm going to tune in, and hopefully, if after my stream I get time, I would love to tune in and play Fall Guys with you as well because I love Fall Guys and I love you and I love Shu as well. I love you too, man. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me to this. Uh, You're so stream. welcome. This is and really thank good. You. Like, I really enjoyed mm. my time. I'm so glad I'm so I got glad to like, get you did. And thank me. you for giving me your time and coming on this show. Um, under the table, it's going to continue. If I can help it, I will try to continue it every single week. Um, I've been chatting with a number of people that we can have as guests every week. And I want this to be a thing where people can have a talk show. People get drunk and we... We converse and uh, discuss things, and uh, tomorrow as well will be my next ASMR stream where I will be role playing as a loyal knight to the listener. Oh, you're gonna be a white knight. I am going I to be, be the... the listener's loyal Sir Lancelot, and everything that you prince? desire will be of my command. And like so... you know, like that show, like you know, like the bratty prince that like the knight kind of like hooks up with maybe a mm -hmm. little bit. Like you think the knight's into the princess, but like no, he's into the prince. Yeah, actually. <laughs> you'll have to you'll have to tune in and see, but that's gonna happen. At, okay. that's gonna happen at 11 p.m. JST tomorrow. Okay. So show is streaming Except tomorrow. I'm streaming tomorrow. There's so much to enjoy. And I want to say thank you to everyone for tuning into this new idea for a show that I had. And I'm really happy that you all wanted to support me and wanted to come see me and show, just chat and get drunk. And there's so much that we can do. So I'm really thankful. We're going to end it here, but thank you all very much. And I will see you all very, very soon. And uh, show, do you have any parting words? Uh, cock and balls. Cock and balls and penis and shit and cum. This okay. is the end of well, the first he episode. Added that one of... onto it. He added he added the other and stuff. And penis and it. shit and cum and All balls right. and smegma. All right. Good, uh, All right. Yeah, take Thank care, you very Gildies much for coming, everybody. I love you. This is the mom, first mom, mom, episode mom, mom, mom. of Under the Table. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you all. To next week where we will be doing another episode with someone else who I have yet to decide on. Let's have a look. I will see you then. Thank you, Show, for joining me. I love you dearly, and we will see each other again very soon. No I'll problem. See you bye bye, you guys. Too, Thank you for joining bye. me. I love you. Mm. Bye. <laughs>